The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interest at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Are y'all recording? Yeah. Y'all talking about how good it's look? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, stop, please. Pretty please. I'm getting a song ready. All I'm right. Just, I but it. I do want to be kept up to breast, uh, abreast of what y'all are doing. Yeah. Just letting them know Serial Mom going to fuck them up, though. Serial Mom? Yeah. Gonna who that? Who up? You didn't see that movie? No. Nah. You can't wear white after Labor Day. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah. That yeah, ain't really white. Hmm? No, I'm talking about the sneakers. Stop it. Mm-hmm. You can't wear cream after Labor Day either? Yeah. She be on it. She was, she was on it. No she, cream. She, she killed the neighbor for that. Damn. <laughs> Yo, for cream? The shit that y'all put in y'all brain, my nigga, is just different. Y'all never saw Serial Mom for real? No. Nor are we starting with that, so. Uh, Nor, says, no. Dude, it's old. It's just old. It's like 90s. It's you are dressed like you ain't going straight home. What's your excuse? For what? For having a $2,000 sweatsuit on. Why are you always quick to get to mad? <laughs> <laughs> like, stop doing that. Why are you always Everything quick to try to, to insinuate cheating? Math with us. Wait, I said nothing about cheating. You insinuated every... Uh, yo, oh, stop Look, look, look. It, you don't look like it, you're going straight it. home. I don't have, there's a whole world out there to go to. Uh-huh. <laughs> there's oh. a whole universe out there I to explore. You, I didn't know you, you was at Latin. And, and you get right to... Nigga Latin now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's cool, bro. God. I got you. Like, look at the zipper. Ice, that's when you could tell. When you look at the zipper, right? Don't worry, I got music to I play. I don't get jammed up. Nah, nah. Yo, this yay. <laughs> got the phone tapped. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, it was just a shirt. Hello? Hello? Faith? Why y'all put so much power in a shirt? <laughs> y'all put too much strength in words. I stole a whole fashion show. I stole a fashion show away from the designers. <laughs> Why are you so mad over a shirt? Fuck. I am selling that shirt. <laughs> Mike, 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 Miggity, Miggity, Miggity. Wake that up, Joe. Yeah, turn it up. Turn it up. Mike, check, Mike, check. <coughs> Shout to the first and last time listeners. Uh oh. Uh oh. I just came from the cape store. <laughs> I got my cape fresh out the clean. Uh oh. Hey! Yeah, you know I mean, shout out to some of the niggas that helped build the 90s. I don't know if you niggas know this. 90s is coming back. 90s is coming back. Niggas is getting busted their faces out here. <laughs> we back. <laughs> Screaming bastard. Y'all know who killed them, filled them. Yeah, I mean, Ish got his 90s outfit on. We here. Huh? Ice got on like some. What's that? What's that, man? What you fucking doing? I want some regular shit, Joe. Fuck, That's what, what I'm doing. Shit. Regular shit. Yo, don't fuck up my couches with this shit you got. No, nah, I'm right? wearing regular shit. I'm surround you, yo. I'm, I, ain't, I ain't on your bullshit today, yo. Yeah, I ain't, not today, yo. Nah, today. Uh, no, not today. today. No, not today. We waking it up today. She the best the classy and still. Microphone check. One, two. What is this? <laughs> nah, mad applause. Mad applause. Yo, turn up that applause. <laughs> turn up that applause. What the fuck is you talking about? What are you niggas talking about? All right, gentlemen, where are we? Let me close this laptop. It ain't going to be too many sound effects. Let's just get right to it. Enough sound effects going on out there. True. Is. The word. All right. How y'all doing? Y'all good? Fantastic. How you feeling? Couldn't be better. Good. Couldn't be better. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yeah. Yes, he will. Amen. Unless there's anything super important you guys would like to lead with, 
Get we right can into just, it. We can get right to the shits. All right, let's do it. The Clash over the Splash. Uh, I think I know where you're going. Draymond, come on. Start right with it. Okay, come let's on, start with violence. Guys. Let's start with the violence. Clash over the Splash. Who will be the Who will be the next Splash brother? Mm-hmm. Who's more important to the guys? Is it Draymond? Is it Jordan? Ooh. It's Draymond. No? It's definitely Draymond. But. No shit. I'm for just the trying future. To stir something uh, up. Jordan Poole for the future. Integral piece of that. Yeah. Come on, y'all saw it. Draymond clocked him. He did. Slept him. Quick. One good one. Yeah. 90s is back. Told you, niggas. <laughs> you ain't shit without your weapons, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ain't shit without your little purses and switches <laughs> uh, Without your ARs and all them shit y'all ain't supposed to have huh? When it's just the Dukes <laughs> You ain't like that Who ain't like what? That still I love that still, you shitting me Why are you looking at me? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm trying to get your opinion I don't even know what you're Let's talking about Let's get yours, old wise Let's get your wise at Your wise fucking You don't know what he's talking about? No. I still doesn't have the internet I still don't have the internet Draymond Green and Jordan Poole Were arguing at practice Okay they was talking shit, talking shit. Draymond Green walks up on him, and they did the little forehead to forehead shit. Okay. Jordan Poole pushes him, and Draymond Green hit him with the, the leaping the leaping hook like Roy Jones, mm-hmm. but it was right hand, not left, and slumped him. Connect, connect yeah. four. <laughs> <laughs> connect floor. He sank my battleship. Crack <laughs> <laughs> this fucking checkmate. Yeah. yeah. Sheesh. Floor. Now. Floor. floor. Meet floor. Yeah. Do we want to have some fun with this first, or do we want to try to be serious with this no, first? No, we got to have some fun. We got to have some fun with that. No, he clocked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, old school. Yo, he, I didn't even know Trayvon was that agile. Because he pushed him hard. Like, he went back, and off the punch, he just Trayvon jumped. Trayvon got some reach, though. Yeah, but he leaped at him. Like, yeah. Bop. Literally, Roy Jones style. Now, this is the thing. Jordan Poole, during the game, is great at creating space. <laughs> <laughs> the wall was behind him. <laughs> Not so much in practice. Well, I mean, this is the thing. When you you young guys out there, man, which camera am I talking to? When y'all push somebody, they have to move. <laughs> this should be backward movement when you push. You're creating the space to get your dukes up. Right. Yeah, yeah. So when you push somebody and they don't move, because Draymond didn't move, I have watched this 20 million Yo, times. He moved a little bit. He moved, he moved a little six inches back. Watch, watch it moved. again. Watch it again. He moved. Watch it again. Maybe just the shoulders watch, move. Watch it again. I've watched it 90 million times. I am positive of what I'm saying. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say when no, it's y'all turn to say it. But he didn't budge. But even still, when you push a nigga... Jordan Poole moved. That might be it. And that's yeah, what created so. this. He moved that back. Might be it. That might be it. Oh, damn. So Off the push, he bounced he back. back. And then Draymond swept swept in with not, the, from, not, from where he was standing. He bounced too. Right, right on him. He bounced too. Draymond. But then he held him. Grace and love. <laughs> this is a championship team. I'm not going to let you fall and get concussed, you bitch ass nigga. Come here. <laughs> Come Just here. let me wrap you with <laughs> my warm, my embrace. warm embrace. <laughs> and make it, y'all know what time it is from here. Yeah. Yo. That's somebody that knows. See, and that's why it's, you say I don't like this. Let me tell you all of the many reasons why I like this. Starting with sometimes having grace and mercy for somebody that you know you'll have to hold up from sleeping them is important to have. Absolutely. Yeah. That was awesome that Draymond knew that. Yo, if I do this to this kid. <laughs> he's going to fall. He's, he's out. Yeah. He's finished. But let me wrap you in my warm embrace. Fuck, fuck the broken jaw. Hmm? He broke his jaw? No. Oh, okay. He could have. He, he could have. He's sure. He, he shoot. hit him that he's, hard. Yeah, he, he did. Sh- he it shoot. wasn't no bullshit. Does he nah. shoot with his jaw? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got Does he chance. dribble? Does he dribble with his jaw? <laughs> Go get, go ahead and get the little saw mask or, or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the little Rick, Rich Hamilton the little jaw Rick, version of that mask. I, I rejoin. Yeah, we want to hear that shit. Get out of here. I love this. I think this happens more often than it's reported on. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I love that For this sure. is coming from Draymond Green, somebody who has a podcast, and I'll get to hear about it one day. <laughs> There's mad that's selfish true. reasons that I love this. I love this because niggas was calling, niggas was talking bad about Draymond's name. 
out there when it came to, you know, you they see should, the niggas. They should talk even worse now. Why? Ish, I wish you get this mature, fake, I'm not, fake nigga, I'm sitting here laughing and joking with y'all. Then what are you talking? No, the first thing you said was, you did this funny joke. I'm not immature I like say, you. I this is funny. funny. I said, you think that was good? Yes. <laughs> Why don't you think it was good? You are beating on a nigga that's half your way. But he started it, though. Stop Says it. Says who? Huh? Says who? Says the, video, the video footage. He pushed him. Stop it, Ish. Stop it. Come on with this mature shit. I ain't see it, but from what y'all telling me, if he started it and... They Some don't finished like, it. Yeah. Hey, sometimes y'all reach for the maturity. It no, like this is not about that. <laughs> nigga, I'm sitting here laughing at the nigga getting stole on. I just don't like for a big... Still DeMarcus Cousins, nigga. Then Did I'm DeMarcus Cousins problems. push him? He would've. Yeah. DeMarcus Cousins is not on my team. He wouldn't even have walked up on DeMarcus Cousins like that. He's not on my team. He's not on my team. This he is was, a in, in practice. He ain't there yeah, now. Yeah, this is an I, in I, practice. We just won the chip. Yeah. You this is them, what's going on. You them and you're going to make me get serious. You let them threes get you a little froggy. They think that he you need a little bit of straightening. He bro. did. That's all it was. I, 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 Actually, Draymond Green is the last thing that jumps out on that video for me. He's the last thing that jumps out. Oh, no, tell video. me more. You know what jumps out in the video? The fact that nobody everybody else else's reaction. That's true. Mm. What everybody else do? Nothing. Stood there. Yeah. Stood there. Oh. Even when he started walking over stood to there. him, mm-hmm. they all stood there. It was, a, it was a coach standing right there. That's true. And he stood there. I think that they thought that what? You would have thought that too, though, fam. Antoine, listen. No. Get whatever. You, get your thoughts away <laughs> from mine. I'm <laughs> telling you what I think. <laughs> no, I think, I'm I think that the leader of the team mm-hmm. making that move to him, mm-hmm. I not, think, I think some playing. discernment went into that. I think everybody else standing there... That's the scarier part of this for me if I'm Jordan Poole. It ain't the hit, it ain't the punch. That's true. It's that, oh shit, all y'all niggas wanted me to get punched. That's true. Mm-hmm. I agree. And there's that. rumors going around that he on his little high horse off the extension. Uh, uh, okay, that makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yep. He, he running around here yeah, he fucking thinking he's talking a certain way to the Splash he Brothers. A spicy. These are rumors. I'm trusting Draymond Green in this instance. I think that him on the team. And his importance to the, the organization. Yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's the heartbeat. Of the he's team. a vet. He's I, the leader of the he's team. A yeah. I'm gonna say, it, it, if something like that was to have have to pop off, you kind of would want it to be him. Of course, yeah. you would want it to be Draymond. Yeah, yeah he's the only nigga that would do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm with a little straightening up. He's the enforcer. I'm with he's a little. I'm with a little straightening teams, up. Yo, you got to enforce his own I'm, team I'm, too. Little pow pow. You I'm, gonna st- you got to stop talking to me like that. I agree. I'm, I know. I'm, I know it's practice. I know we need you. I know we won, little young nigga. But guess what? I'm me and you. You. I went to Michigan mm-hmm. State. I stand corrected. Um, you of nah, all people like, here, the bitch smack would have been would have been better. No, because you gotta learn him good. Nah, the bitch smack. Learn him good. No, no I no. want him to fall. I don't want embarrassment. <laughs> I want him to fall. <laughs> I don't want him to be embarrassed. No, nah, I want him to fall. Nah, because the down. smack sometimes will just lead to more animosity. No, it won't. Sometimes it will. I'm with a little bit of straightening. I like it. That good old bitch smack. Oh shit. Well, y'all, I ain't even. I ain't even value you enough to steal you. I'm gonna just smack the man out you. Yeah. Nah, not with your teammate. Not with a nigga that you know you could beat, yo. You know he know he could beat fucking Jordan Poole. No, don't push me. Well, maybe Jordan Poole needed to know that he could. Don't push yeah. me. <laughs> Sometimes that's what it is. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know I could beat you, but you over here apparently you don't know that I'm, I could yeah, beat yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every other minute, y'all want to show me a step back, except for the time you're supposed to do one. <laughs> <laughs> except yo, for the time except you're supposed to hit time. one. Yo, yo, yo you stupid little fine shooting ass nigga. <laughs> nah, he, he, take that. Yeah, <laughs> take that. Here take you go. You, take that. I ain't see that. I'm not on the nah, internet. And guess what? And they not trading me. What? I'm going to sit down for a till of what? They not what? trading either of them, not, honestly. It'll be a different level of respect next practice. Listen, I don't want to sure. none of that. That's they, all. I seen Kevin Durant leave and Jerry Mon stay. I don't want to hear none of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm, what? Any other team, and that nigga would, would have been in the first trade package out of here. Only if, if, if KD would have made him trade him. He ain't asking to. I don't think he could have got them to. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, Draymond to me is the heart and soul of that team. I'm not. Same. I'm not knocking that at all. They, I think they know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not knocking that at all. I'm, but don't act like Jordan Poole can't say, "Yo, I want to get the fuck up out of there." You can you say could. whatever you whatever you want. You on the team, and we control that contract. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can say that. Hey, you say it to yourself. Say it. Say it when you shoot. Say it to my neck. Or, or go out there and lower your value. My neck, and, and then my see back. what happens. It's cool. You know. Y'all ready to say Russell Wilson stole money or nah? Nah, <laughs> I think it's still time there. Fam. It was cold. Fam. It was cold. He had a little mask on. Fam. You know how much you know how much he getting paid? I'm here to wake it up today. Fuck no. that. that. 
He robbed him. Them niggas oh, okay. said he got a he got a fucking uh, primary bedroom in the stadium. <laughs> Hello? My man me to talk to that. Got, in there? We getting in and out of here. I think they're gonna figure it out. It's still yeah, early. Don't, what they gonna figure out? How much he stole? Yeah. Like, he, I don't care. <laughs> they know how much he stole. They got the accountants in the account it up. Fam. I, I give another three weeks and you'll start seeing Russ look like Russ. So seven weeks? Yeah. Okay, you know how new much they paid him? A new coach, rookie coach. You know how much they paid him? A lot. No, no, no if it no. took you seven weeks to find a mirror, I'm good on you, <laughs> my nigga. I don't care how you look at it. He stole money. He got receivers. Nah, I don't think so. We gonna see. We, we gonna see. We gonna see. He got he got receivers. It ain't no excuse. that coaching has been horrible. Over he got there. a tight end. He got two decent running backs. Now one. Now one. But, but still, yeah. He he. It's no excuse. Yeah. I don't. He's wanna. just missing throws, fam. I, I watched the game. Making bad reads. Like, he... he. I don't want to see Sierra in nothing blue or orange for the next seven <laughs> months if I'm a Broncos fan. Don't even celebrate Halloween. I no pumpkin, yeah, no, no none of that. <laughs> <laughs> no pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie. <laughs> nothing. Mm-mm. Stupid, yo. Nah, I, I think you got to give a little time. They tight. How much time you need? I bet you Denver's tight. Yes. I don't think so. I'm not going to go that far. Yeah. Shit, he, might have, he might have sold enough jerseys in the first three months to make them be like, eh, we'll give it a little bit of time. Yeah, all right. All right, come on. Enough of this. We'll, we'll leave, this, leave this to the sports people. Come on. <laughs> Let's get to the fun, the, the fun hip-hop stuff. <laughs> Puff, come on. Puff going to draw your mind that name? <laughs> 90s back. <laughs> 90s Puff back. Green. You know, Puff, you know, Puff will put his hands on a motherfucker like uh, he, he the pastor. Yo. <laughs> He might catch him. That'd be hilarious. We won't know. We won't see it. No, we'll know. We might not see it. We might not see it. We'll hear about it. Depend on how it go. If it go good for Puff, think it's for the go. people that do not if, know, Kanye West has made the public privy to text messages between him and Puff. Where well, he's really, really disrespectful. Because Puff was uh, uh, rightfully so... Knocking the uh, White Lives Matter t-shirt yeah, Indeed But that ain't my version Of what happened Cause he didn't go In the breakfast club And knock the, the White Lives Matter He didn't t-shirt. He went on Instagram And did Knocked he did it bre- Or he gave an opinion But he went on The breakfast club opinion. first He went on the breakfast mm-hmm. club And he was asked about it mm-hmm. And what did he say Some shit like They he, do he, Or he, he He gave an opinion But he gave an opinion From a real objective standpoint He, like, he didn't do what Most man. niggas did yeah, he, he, yo, I love him. Um, this yeah. is from love. Blah, sure. You know Puff with the political So then correction. he left there, and I'm positive that somebody hit his phone and said, we not jacking that. This is what's going on with this. You know, niggas be needing to get a download of everything that's happening, like mm-hmm. we do when we come in here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure Puff got that download, and then he went on Instagram and mm-hmm. said, we not jacking none of that Kanye shit. It's disruptive. It's, he was more in-depth. Mm-hmm. He was more opinionated. Oh, he stood see, more. He stood more firm. Gotcha. And nah, we don't rock with that. And now we have the shit storm of. That's why he said messages. we not wearing a t shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I saw mm-hmm. a clip. And that's how we get here with these uh, Yo, with dog. these text messages. Let me see if I could find them so I can read them. But even with that, we want the OGs to be OGs mm-hmm. for sure. Puff is being an OG. Here we go. He is. This starts at Kanye. I didn't like our convo. I'm selling these tees. Nobody gets in between me and my money. This is my grandfather texting you now. Never call me with no bullshit like that again unless you're ready to green light me. Because anybody who got on that tee is me. Out of respect for everything you've meant to me, I'll be quiet as Virgil. But now I know how I've hurt people I love with threats. Come do something illegal to me now, please. To that Puff says... Man, what? Puff says, as soon as I land, we'll meet face to face. Send me an address. To which Kanye says, <laughs> what that nigga, like? fuck you. I'm on my way. You fed. <laughs> to nigga, which, fuck to you. To which Puff to... replies, nigga, send me an address. <laughs> Let's stop playing these internet games and don't feel threatened. You'll be fine. Just love. To which Kanye says, this ain't a game. I'm going to use you as an example to show the Jewish people that told you to call me that no one can threaten or influence me. I told you this was war. Now, now, go, on, now go and get you some business. So he didn't send him the address, though. So he posted, 
and then he posted the he conversation. He posted the conversation. That already, when you're dealing with someone like Puff, is like... And, and his caption was, Jesus is love or something like that. And underneath in the comments, Puff wrote, see you soon. Exclamation point. See... That's the download for you guys. Now, look, where Ye is sitting there saying, calling Puff saying, you're, you're fed. You, nigga, this, you playing police games? That's what you're doing. Come and do something illegal Come to do me. something yeah, illegal word. to me. You're threatening me. Like, this, this sound like I'm compiling evidence. I'm, this is exhibit I'm giving ABs. you guys the whole... T. Mm-hmm. So when he so comes and you, smacks the fire out of my face, here you y'all go. know what happened. Yo, you knew he did need to get stole. Jordan Poole needed to steal. <laughs> he did. It was shout out to Draymond because that's what they do. I love a good come around. No, no, that's what, that's what they do now. All these young niggas, they be talking shit. Mm-hmm. They come from the internet generation, the internet. and I'm always but saying, "Cuddy's not young. He just act." He, he, acts, he, acts he, acts like a, he acts like one of them. He does. Mm-hmm. He's an attention-starved child, my nigga. He mm-hmm. acts like them. Even for you to put the conversation out publicly that you having with Puff. Word. That right there it's is... Puff. It's I'm already just, a violation. I'm, I'm just looking for attention. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, dog. We getting closer and closer to that Count Rushmore. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all think Joe be playing? Joe be right about a lot of shit, yo. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I, 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 you got for me. Yeah. No, I, I think that um, I just think this nigga he needs some assistance, and I don't think there's nobody out here. Some straight system. I don't think it'll work, yo. I didn't. That, that's not it, my concern. <laughs> whether it works, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I don't give a fuck whether it works or not. I don't know these niggas. You're right. I don't know Kanye. He definitely needs some iron. So he does. Uh, somebody had made a. You know, Kanye had the the, the red maga hat. Shit said, break Kanye jaw again. Don't find you. I mean, he might need it, fam. Like, he he's wilding. I don't know what's up with him, man. Oh, another car accident. You got to do this when you say the car accident. Uh, what? Car accident. Yeah, yeah you got to do it that way. A little bat. Oh, hip hop and these conspiracies. <laughs> well. All right, so I'm, come what's on. Your, let's what's go. your take? Uh, yo, Ish, why do you keep trying? Listen, I don't have a take. I want us to play a game. Shoot. What do we think is going to happen to Kanye when Puff finds him? <laughs> come on, let's just start guessing shit. I mean. You think they'll go to dinner? Start with something nice? A Chardonnay? No. No. I think Puff. Puff without put, saying names, Puff be putting his hands on niggas. Quick. Yeah, Puff put his hands on niggas. Allegedly. I know of no such thing. It's always positive. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> we are. It's a theory. <laughs> Safely. We're not indicting people. <laughs> yeah. Puff put his hands on niggas. <laughs> well, niggas told us Puff put his hands on them. There you go. So put it that way. So, niggas themselves have But said. Kanye might be the nigga to, to sue. So? So? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yo, sometimes you just be like, I, I, I got that. You want that in ones? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't the name of the new Ciroc, Passion? <laughs> Nah, you're gonna talk to him with passion. Nah, yeah. a little passion yeah. fruit little, coming his yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. A little pow pow. He's gonna slide him. Listen, look, little, little pow. Wait, and Kanye him. talking shit to Boosie, too. Excuse me? Boosie, Boosie. who? Badass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kanye walking around with six foot nine niggas, look like mountains. Nobody gonna get there. He if there's one person that I wouldn't speak to that way, it's Puff. Yeah. I, have, I think Puff can just find Kanye whenever he wants to. No, he can't. Like at any point in the day that he looks at his watch and says, let me d- d- devote some time to finding Kanye, I he think could. he can find out where he is. And, and, and be there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that too. Yeah, that's I can get problem. in there. Yeah. yeah, wherever you are. Yeah, I can yeah, get in there. Oh, you think you're safe in that room? That's true. Ta-da. I agree with that. I can get up in there. <laughs> Master key. I can get the DJ to do a whole hour set bad boy set <laughs> in there. Master key. <laughs> Look, I get a master key to the lock. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, that's a nuts, yo. Oh, shit, yay. <laughs> During my bad boy set. <laughs> who would have who thunk it? Now you got to be in total. <laughs> 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 you 
got to be part of the total now, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you stupid. You got a little, little, little flavor in this ear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mad flavor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Old bag. Oh. Yeah, all, all of the flavors. <laughs> Adobo. Little onion powder in his ear. <laughs> Throw some NyQuil in there since he won't be white. Come on, we throws. Come on. We just putting all the flavors in his ear. <laughs> Uh, Yo, you stupid, little man. barbecue Nyquil. <laughs> oh shit! Man. Got to sleep, Dodo. Oh man, Yo, you think you gonna stop? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think you gonna stop, yo. I think yeah, Kanye has something he's trying to sell y'all that's coming, and I think when he drops that, he'll stop until next time, as he kept. Oh, you think going. it's a rollout? Yes. I don't even. No, I'm not, no, 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 no. I don't think it's a. But Kanye in particular. He do this. He rolling shit out. I think a lot of the shit is him just trying to get back at his ex and family. I think it's just him trying to garner attention in any way he can. I hate that he brings all his beefs back to that. I don't like. I don't know if he's hate clear it. how he sounds mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when he does that. Mm-hmm. Where were you in there? Can't nobody fucking don't nobody fucking responsibility to be there. What are you talking nigga? about? Right. Why was y'all not in uprage when I couldn't see my kid? Your brothers, your, your kids. You want to hear actually though? I, I you want to hear one of the other oh, telling parts about that Kanye shit to me? The text between him and his dad looked nuts to me. Mm-hmm. Or more so, Kanye's caption, which was, this is the first time in 45 years that I've made my dad, in 40 years that I've made my father proud. That shit jumped off my phone screen. Oh, is that what made him proud? That The, the shit he did on Tucker Carlson shit was weird regarding his father and his mother. All oh, that shit was very, all of very his weird. Everything is weird. At all of his answers, yo, they'd be really weird. And then a bunch of his shit be so eye based. Like it's I, 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 mm-hmm. I. Like he'll try to use a song to describe some shit or like, he's like, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yo, he, yeah. All of the great shit that this man has accomplished. And this little bullshit is what's making your black father, proud. Black Panther father, proud. Proud? I mean, I'm gonna assume that that's not true. I don't think it's true. I would hope not. Well, then it's more alarming that you're saying it. True. That is true. I don't like how he sound when he's trying to rationalize this T-shirt at all of these different... But he gave like seven different excuses. I know, he keeps changing it. All excuses are different. But the real excuse is what he gave Puff. I'm selling this. Yeah, you got to it. That's it. All that other shit... You got to it. Yeah, I'm going to say what I need to say here, what I need to say here. The bottom line is I'm selling this. Who who is the, uh, the brand? His Jim. Yeah, easy. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, so it's just, it's just I don't a think Yeezy t shirt. Yeah, not I don't a think it's a Gap or Adidas or anybody oh, Balenciaga getting maybe. behind this one. I don't. I don't no, all think of them so. say we're reviewing our situation with him, looking for a clause to get us to fuck away from him. Or, yeah. that's, that's what that means. Yeah, Adidas put out the statement yeah. saying they're review. Everything is under review. But I said that on the head. I'm just selling this. I'm just selling this. Yeah. And then he hit it on the head. He hit it on the head. See, people will just tell you their agenda. They will. When he was like, I stole a show in, in Paris. All oh, those designers, all that shit. It was my t-shirt. It's me they still talking about. It's me they want to... Like, he telling you what he doing. But dog, niggas, niggas talking like about big, you ain't always a good thing. It's always I. It's always this I. This a big crybaby, though. It's all, yeah. And more begging. Yeah. And more begging. I ain't mm-hmm. think about that. It's more, it's more begging true. on mad fronts. I agree with that. I ain't think about that. Where, wherever you can beg. Yeah. This nigga Which walk, is what it's been. This nigga walking around. Wherever I can beg Yaga, Mouthpiece. Come on, man. You get your cousin, man. This nigga got Balenciaga mouthpiece in his mouth. We're talking about all the shit that the conglomerates are doing to us. And then next thing you know, he's going to be talking about them too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a cycle with this dude. Like, I don't know how everybody else don't see it. You just just look. This shit is not new. It keeps happening with him. I think I think they just keep giving him passes. Cause I think hip hop about to genius. run a run a toll with him though. No, he not. What you mean? That nigga make a phone call. All them niggas be right back out there recording with him again. Yeah, for a bag. So then hip hop is not gonna run a Good toll point. with him. I'm talking about like the fan base overall. No, not them either. I think niggas is tired. He go of him drop something. No. He go drop some shit that's fire tomorrow. They're going to run right back out there, sell them out, and forget about all of this. It keep happening. This ain't the first wild shit yeah, that, he, that he's done that people should have been. But, but, he, but then he goes on his get, apology tour, too. And people will get he goes to on a his point where they get tour, fed up with you. And we're loving and accepting. Sure. And we accept. But mm-hmm. you're right. This is on schedule. 
All of this shit is on schedule from him. You could damn near set your it's watch like every other yo. year. Really? Every yes. other year. When was all that MAGA shit? When was the Van Lathan shit? A couple years ago. A couple ago. years ago. Yeah, 2017, maybe something, 18. That's a mess. He's, he's a mess. And if it ain't no music, I was like, what the fuck are we doing? Right. Trying to stay relevant. The music is coming. You fucking right. The music is coming. That's what all of this is about. The music, Puff is, the music right is still coming. Puff fists right to his face. <laughs> Puff sings the blues. Shit, chin music. Music. You're going to see Puff turn to B.B. <laughs> King. <laughs> 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 Nigga. Just handing out the blues. Straight <laughs> beatboxing. Bismarcky. <laughs> Dougie Fresh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh nah, man. Yeah. That shit is there ain't too many people that can make a better beat than Ye, but guess what? Guess what's coming? <laughs> we're going to sample you. Some boom you. bat. Now, this is going to be a good beat right here. <laughs> Some boom bat. A little a boom, boom bat. bat. Mm-hmm. I created the remix. Oh, man. Oh, that's nuts. Now, wake up and go put some simps on my shit, too. <laughs> wake up, nigga. Now, you produce. Yo, you, a, you in the hitman now. <laughs> <laughs> you just got hit me. You yeah, got right. hit, man. Actually... I own Donda, yo. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> sign this shit, yo. <laughs> Come on, give me your hand. Give me your hand. Just sign the give paper. Me give me your hand. Don King had the niggas making a contract around the nigga's signature. Just sign the paper anywhere. All right. That's crazy, yo. Fucking pop. And tattoo Ciroc on you now. <laughs> Just start wilding on Kanye. <laughs> What y'all laughing? Y'all niggas, hey, niggas ain't play with Big Red. <laughs> they did not. No, they didn't. They play with Big Red, man. At all. See, that's the other problem too with the internet, yo. Wake that up, Joe. I'm here to wake it up today, goddammit. You internet babies just know the 2013 version of niggas. Yeah. Or the 2008 version Se- of niggas. 2018 or the, version. Yeah, the 2015. Yeah. yeah. That's all y'all know. I know. Podcast to Joe. I know. I get it. I understand it. But some of these niggas, you might want to know what they was doing before. <laughs> yeah. Or who they was running with. Yeah, before. what they Ooh, was into that's then. That's true. And that then true. and now look at them and just do some shit different. Mm-hmm. That's your problem, that's man. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. That. You don't know. I was roommates with this nigga over here that got, yeah, he just came home. Yeah, they think you sweet because you're rich. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead and get Foxy with Freddie Fox. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Bumpy knuckles. Yeah, the fuck For is going re- For a reason, oh, nigga. Word. I'm just saying, man. You kids. You kids out there. I'm mm-hmm. so glad niggas getting punched in the face again. Let's bring it back. Yeah, I took it. I'm so bring glad. it back. Jordan Poole needed that. There you go. Tighten you right Let me hit a round of applause for Ish doing a come around. Fine tune you right on that. <laughs> round of applause. It's quick. Your job is to shoot. <laughs> Oh, I also have so many things that I was right about to come in here and hear what you gentlemen have to say. Oh, it's here. I'm listening. Yeah, but don't be on defense. I'm listening. Don't be on... You see, hey, Corey, you see these niggas? I said I'm listening. I know, but I, I went to body language classes. I haven't moved. I <laughs> like, said I'm listening. Oh, no, you moved. You 100% moved. They'll, they'll show you. You got right into defense of what happened. <laughs> Loosen up. Relax. I just want y'all to respond to me being correct. What's the doctor's name that Will Smith played with the bad accent that discovered CTE? I don't recall his name. I don't know his name. Nigerian dude. Well, he put out a statement and said, hey, that should be the last down that Tua ever played Mm. that game. Really? He should take his helmet, his jersey, Put it up. I don't care how much money you think you'll make in your career. None of it is worth your brain. Wow. Mm. Dr. Burnett Amalu. Thank you. That's you. <laughs> That's your name from now on. <laughs> <laughs> B.A. <laughs> say, say it again, Alex. Dr. Dr. Burnett Amalu. Amalu. Yeah, that's the statement he came out with. So I wanted to bring it to you, gentlemen. What to say? To, to, you was right. Respond to. No, I I don't even think. I'm we, saying, but what does it do to your your thing? Y'all, y'all you still don't agree no, with that? I don't. Uh, it, whether he plays or not, I said that. Well, you talked about suing. 
You talked about you would sue the NFL. But to do that, you have to and never play again. No, true, but I'm saying <laughs> yeah. that I think you would have had a hard time suing them. That was my stance. Do, okay, do you uh, think he should never play another down? If one of the lead medical professionals in the world Hell on yeah. brain injuries tells me to sit the fuck down, mm -hmm. I'm going to do the Sterling I'm Sharp and sit the fuck listen. down. I'm definitely going to listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how much money he's made or acquired from football, but it's more than most. A decent amount. He's a fifth, yeah. fifth pick. I'm sure it's more round. than most. So he might be sitting on enough money to be well off for a minute. Yeah. There was a lot of concussions in the last couple of weeks, too. Yes, it was. It was a lot. Yes, it won yesterday. Mm hmm Early, too. Yeah, uh, first quarter. Yeah. T. Higgins, I just realized, or uh, found out, was playing with a concussion in that same game. From the Bengals? Mm -hmm. He got a concussion the week before I played that game. But how does it not... I can produce you guys a sports podcast if that... Because I see y'all chief trying to gear things to sports. Hey, fam, you brought that up. You, know you that brought right? these topics up. You brought, you brought two up. I don't want to talk about the other niggas' concussions. <laughs> no, we start talking about the brain injury like that. If the lead nigga that's done all the research tells me to sit my ass down, I'm sitting my ass down. Back. So then why won't he sit his ass down? Or do y'all think he will? I don't think he's going to retire. I don't think he's going to sit down. I don't think, I don't think he he's going to sit out for two or three Joe, weeks. Joe, it's something that you've been doing since you were a child, dog. All these niggas know is this. I think even with Brady's situation, not to bring that back, but that's what you've been doing since you've been seven or eight years old. Now you 40, dog. It's, it's in your DNA. Actually, you just brought up the segue for me. You know what I'm saying? Shannon Sharp talk, talking about... Um, I watched Shannon Sharp on uh, All the Smoke, uh -huh. right? And he started talking about um, he was so engulfed in football, he said, yo, dog, football was first before his kids, before his wife, his mother, his family, whatever the fuck it was, football was number one for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he said, yo, he would meet women, and he would be like, you know, all girls would be like, yo, he'll ask them up front, like, yo, are you okay with being number two? And everybody says yes. Right. Until you put Until them in number really, two, yeah. he's like, yo, the way I eat, my sleep, my workout, my regimen, every single thing that I did came first. He said, yo, my kids, I'm sure they, when they were small, they looked at me with contempt because mm -hmm. it would be two hours of running, then two hours of lifting weights. And I told you that I was going to come to your game. Mm -hmm. Now I can't come because I'm exhausted. So you're looking at daddy like he's a liar. Right. But you don't know that. Your college tuition the car you drive, all of that stuff is predicated on this being first. So he was like, yo, now that he's older, he thinks. But these niggas are married to this sport, yo, from when they, teen fuck teenagers, from when they single Shit, digits. Yeah. All Six, they know, seven. dog, you know how it scary that is to go away from the one thing that you know how to do. Especially at 22, is what, 23, maybe? 24? See, see, the re reason why I think he's not going to sit down, 24, because he's had an injury before. Like, he want to prove himself now. Like mm -hmm. now, I'm, now I'm here. Yeah, I got the squad. It's a bad, mm -hmm. it's a bad thing to think though. But I'm just saying, like it's it's like I, we look good. We look like this could be the he year to get good. it done. Yeah. And he I'm looked. looking good. So it's like I it's hard to walk away from that at that point. Duh. You you probably wanted to stop rapping way before you stopped rapping. Not way before. You didn't have before. something to concretely fall on. Yeah, but, I didn't have nobody to sue. <laughs> And that's before suing became cool. <laughs> might, might have been found something <laughs> yeah. suing this. Suing cool now? Yeah. Hell yeah. Nigga. Yeah, they, they be yeah. suing. Niggas are trying to Man. make you do shit and shit so that they can sue. It's trendy now. Mm. Niggas can't wait to sue. Yo, before you wanted to, I mean, before you officially stopped rapping, you wanted to stop, but you just didn't have something to, you know what I'm saying? Grab. He's a kid, y'all. 23, 24 years old. You better sit his little ass down somewhere. That's I would what agree. he better do. I would agree. I'm not disagreeing. It's just hard. It's hard to do, yo. It's hard to mm -hmm. do. Especially, with, like I said, where he's at right now. Like he, he might really believe, yo, we could win this this year. It's hard. Nah, I ain't coming back. Can I segue us into me being correct about the Tom Brady situation? What's that? I'm going to read you, gentlemen, a Giselle quote. Actually, before I do that, because y'all niggas make me mad when y'all start uh, podding, podding correctly, being PC, podding correctly. <laughs> Let me revisit us. Actually, I want to put y'all in, in, in that situation. Y'all married 20 years, mm -hmm. been in Boston. You love football. All that shit he just said, Shannon Sharp said, all that shit applies to you. Mm -hmm. Now y'all moved to Florida. 
Don't look at me. You ain't say nothing. You ain't ask nothing. I don't fucking have to. I don't fucking have to, nigga. I said, then you moved to Florida from Boston. This is what the fuck I said. I know. You sit there with that look on your face. Yeah, I don't know where you're going. A few weeks ago, know what you said to me? What? Boy, it's something like new furniture, boy. (laughs) Come on, play back. You know what you said to me? Let me tell tell my audience. Is that what you're doing? What Ish said was, you want to tell them what you said? Come on. I don't Join know what you're talking about. Have you all right, you gotta it's that sometimes new furniture now. When you refurnish your house and get it looking right, all that good shit they got out there, sometimes it can make a weak person say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I might need to be single for not, a little bit. Not him. Let me finish. And I said, I feel you on that, because I identify. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, yo, you just get your crib looking right, and now you want to kind of come and show it off a little bit. I was like, yeah. So now I just said they moved from Boston, Boston. Mm-hmm. to, to Florida. Florida, and I'm me. I'm Tom Brady in Florida. So I'm asking y'all I'm to coming. not pod PC. Not at all. And finally understand my crazy sounding ass in saying, hey, family. <laughs> Go find something to do for a few years. I'm going to go hop in the Lamborghini and drive down Collins with my gel in my ear and the wind blowing. These new shades, shirtless, TB12 really working. My body looks great. Oh, shit, I can still have foursomes and threesomes. Huh? Don't worry about it. Don't no, say a word. No, nigga, I'm I'm, no, 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 listen to correct, me. Don't bro. say a word. Ish. I'm, I'm, Let me just, I'm going to say this to you and then you no. can reply. okay. This is Giselle on Florida changing Tom Brady. And I quote, (laughs) this all started when we moved to Florida. (laughs) It was like Tom became a different person the second we crossed state lines. (laughs) His smooth olive skin turned into a chapped Singing red leather. <laughs> he started cutting off the sleeves on all of his shirts. <laughs> he goes grocery shopping shirtless now. He uses hey, the yo. word not real. He uses the word jit. Nah, hey, yo, this ain't no real. Nah, hell, this ain't no real. Hey, no real I don't give a fuck. <laughs> hell no. I don't care if it's not real. He applied a salt a salt life sticker to our Range Rover. Salt life. What does that even mean? I've asked so many people. No one actually knows. But everyone insists they're living it. I told Tom, it's your supermodel wife or Florida. He looked at me, took off his shirt, and went to go buy something called a pub sub. (laughs) He doesn't even eat bread. (laughs) That's hilarious. That's That's hilarious. I don't care if it's fake. Listen. It's fronting on this nah, part. Nah, I'm not. I sp- you are, yo. You said Tom Brady gonna get you dressed. Frightened. No, nah, Tom Brady gonna <laughs> pop up in a picture with Kodak. Then y'all gonna know. No, this this is my stance, and this is what I'm telling Joe. Dog, if it was an Instagram baddie, mm-hmm. everything Joe is saying would be right. I would agree with him. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with him because she ain't. Tom Brady is him. Mm-hmm. She's her. Shut yo. Up. Show what Shut you up, said. Fuck. Shut Every up. bad chick. It's a nigga tired of fucking her. You know the line. Indeed. What I'm saying is I this. I get you to turn them Tom Brady. I think San Diego could do it. <laughs> <laughs> San Diego's a nice city. I know. I think so. I think a nice weekend in San Diego. He going to go buy another one of these little Gucci suits. <laughs> <laughs> Whole closet full. Like that. Uh, he going to try to get like the best. <laughs> <laughs> Aspen, yo, I'm saying this. You're gonna try and get the short set version, dog. You, 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 you discrediting her in some of the shit that you bring up. He is him. Mm-hmm. At no point does that say anything that about her. Yeah, that's. That ain't I'm not even her. mentioning her. What I'm saying is our options are the same, nigga. Okay, but the, and, I, and I'm taking them. Cool. And what, <laughs> but now what colludes that to me is when you start bringing up the children piece. The children piece matters, Joe. No? <laughs> yo, terrible, yo. What the Michael Jordan meme say? 
You're not going to answer? You pardon? P- Park just answered? The Michael Jordan meme. It's I'm asking time you. Brady meme. Look, I'm asking you, nigga. Listen. FTK? <laughs> I really, really... You heard him? What? That's... <laughs> What y'all saying? FTK. FTK. The Michael Jordan meme. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I truly admire and applaud the mm-hmm. decision that Ja Morant's dad <laughs> made in, like, giving up his dreams of wanting to be a professional athlete mm-hmm. to stay back and raise ja. ja to be one. I don't think Tom that have takes that takes Everybody doesn't make that same decision. <laughs> I'm everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> I'm everybody. <laughs> Yo, I'm everybody. You're a fool, son. I know. You're a fool. <laughs> I'm everybody. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Body. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I, and I'm I'm joking, and it sounds fucked up, but I did that. Like, I did that. And if I had to rewrite it, I would write it the same. Now, let me ask this now. The decisions that you make today dictate your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Three years, that, now what? Three years what? When you ain't playing no more. You still him? Still Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah. that's Tom Brady. Yeah, you definitely still him. They like that's that Tom Brady. They like that Tom Brady. Yeah. Who they? They. <laughs> <laughs> Them. Mad Giselles. Yo, you ever been to Tampa Bay? A lot of Giselles. Have you ever, have you ever been to Tampa Bay? I'm asking. No. Okay. That's why your take is your take. No, Joe, listen. It's pretty women anywhere you go. No. It's not? There is, but... There is. There's... But they're all different everywhere because yeah. there's different cultures That's everywhere. That's true. Indeed. There is a culture in Tampa Bay. Mm-hmm. As soon as you land, if you know somebody that's in the know of things, you quickly get with the culture out there. You know what the vibe is? The vibe is sitting on the bow of a boat after a Super Bowl and... <laughs> taking the prize trophy that probably weighs 30 pounds and throwing it across the bay to another guy on mm-hmm. another boat. Mm-hmm. Who gives a fuck if it lands or not? Tampa Bay is none but beautiful water everywhere. The places that have the money, there's a few of them, and they look like the real money, not the fake money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tampa Bay, the Yankees practice out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tampa Bay's football team has always been relevant. There's like a culture of sports there. I wouldn't say always. So yeah, I was going to yeah. say. Definitely not always been no, relevant. Been relevant. Uh, they were trash for a very long time. A but very long time. Never, that has never not, That's y'all talking as outsiders. In Tampa oh, Bay, Tampa, yeah. the culture of football, bad or good, they Florida, always, Florida's oh, a football they have state. always, yeah, yeah, yeah. Florida's is a, a football, football state. Football state. Yep. So time. what that means is sports bars everywhere, mm-hmm. everywhere. day parties mm-hmm. everywhere. The athletes and get treated like royalty. And there's the women out there are familiar with dealing with the athletes mm-hmm. and dealing with a certain, I'm just trying to paint a picture for no, this. All them girls out there are beautiful, white, Cladly dressed, walking around in swimsuits, and if if you go out there as Tom Brady, <laughs> girls go wild. They did it for Jameis Winston. <laughs> now Tom Brady's here. That's why Tua don't want to retire too. They did it for Brad Johnson. What you talking about, Tua? He's in Miami. Well, you could be eating at IHOP and somebody sitting there with a G string next to you on a chair. The yams. You tell, you tell him the to yams, retire. Yams, the yams. The yams. And he tell him to retire. You, you don't even know that's yams because your brain is riding around <laughs> in your fucking head. You don't even know that this girl look good. You think it's collards? You don't know what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> you ain't know now somebody got a wheelchair. You on now? Come on, little horny, <laughs> little horny disabled man. Come on, come on. Go to your car. Get in your car elevator. <laughs> oh shit, yo. Come on, get in your little car elevator. <laughs> All right, Yo. wheel it in. <laughs> Come on, big wheel. Oh, you're moving faster today. <laughs> two, two. <Yeah. laughs> so now, what were you saying <laughs> about the yams and her looking good? Yo, you stupid, yo. I'm here to wake it up today. Nah, I'm just saying. I, I just think that... Um, <laughs> Yo, my waking it up don't blend with your little maturity. <laughs> nah, I'm chilling. <laughs> nah, it's just bad. W- they, it- <laughs> Man, you've been to Boston, yo. They're out there, too, though. But it's just ain't would, warm. It's just not warm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The warm hold on, matters. Hold on, it matters. Hold on, hold on. I'm not hold on, disagreeing hold on. with you. I'm saying but it wait. matters. Miami, but wait, LA. Ish, they ish. There ain't no winter time. Ish, you're right. He, you've been to Boston. But he's been in Boston for 20 years. Mm-hmm. And now I'm in my. I'm in Tampa. I'm in mm-hmm. Florida. It's a new batch of Cape Verdeans every day in Boston. Ice. Fam, Stop I'm, it, I'm, Ish. Yo. 
yo, I, I, this is my style. Yo, like, this is the, my yo, yo, the cop don't of even me. need to walk to the window to get you off this ledge. <laughs> you could walk yourself right back in. Come on. <laughs> Trigger warning. I don't know. Come on inside. And then come in the house, man. Because <laughs> I know you was on a debate team, but nah, we do not, not need to do debating Boston. You. I'm not saying nothing. Oh, I'm not debating. We don't need to do Boston and Sandy. I mean, uh, Tampa Bay. Cause I, even just I would, I would I've take you out there. My, is, my girl wouldn't even let me take you out there. It is beautiful <laughs> women up there in Boston. You know I, but they're I'm not wearing you. bikinis. Not just that. They the heat matters. The heat matters. They in the North Face. Yeah, the heat yeah. matters. No, the heat matters. I've been here for 20 years. No, the heat the, matters. The tan but matters. I've been a man All that shit years. you like. The life. Who like? All that shit you like. <laughs> little tanny tan. <laughs> uh, little Danny Tanner. <laughs> A uh, little long, uh, what do the white girls call it? Gapping hair, flowing, what they call it? When their hair is doing the shit in the wind. <laughs> Frolicking. <laughs> you can, you can, you can it, tell I ain't fucking up white girls. Make it up, make it up verbs. <laughs> Yo. Yo, nah, I nah, get it. You I would like it. it out there. Yeah. Nah, just a lay back. That little suit hit baggage claim. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wee. Yeah. 78. Oh, uh, where I'm at. I get it. <laughs> Oh shit! Same thing with LA, no. Miami. I don't, That's a little different. I'm not saying yeah. It's slightly different. different. Yeah, it's different. Different. Really? Mm-hmm. Fact. Florida is the Wild West too. Like you can do kind of whatever you want down there. Florida, the girls can put on a bathing suit and be dressed for the day. That's, no, that's not happening yeah. in LA. Uh, it's not happening in LA. Gotcha. Tom Brady could theoretically go grocery shopping shirtless. I don't think that he is, but it probably wouldn't be that abnormal. Yeah, flip flops. Yeah, and yeah. Gotcha. As Tom Brady. Yeah, I'm, exactly. so, I'm sorry. What's the Giselle Bunchkin? What's her name? I'm sorry. G. <laughs> G, yeah. Yo, G. <laughs> Man, me and my kid is solid. We be texting. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, it'd be cool, man. Hold it down. Oh, shit. Yeah, you st- the world is tough, kid. Get you some armor. <laughs> This Bill's character. <laughs> I'm trying to be Bill, Bill Russell of this football shit. I mean, rest in peace to Bill Russell. Rest in peace to Bill peace. Russell. I think that's what his eyes on, though. I think he, he's, he's not thinking about being the greatest football player at this point anymore. He's trying to be the all-time winning this period. I'm done with y'all. I'm done. What do you okay. mean? He's there already. No, he's talking that. about... I'm talking about the numbers. The numbers. Like, Bill Russell's what, 13? Uh, 11, yeah. I thought, right? 11. It don't matter. So, huh? he's saying that he's on that. He's his, That's what his eye is on. I who think that's who got more Super Bowls than Tom Brady? <clears throat> Nobody. Nobody. It ain't about Super Bowls. It's yeah, athletes he, now. Yeah. Shut up, yo. I, 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 I'm not where I think he's just, at. I was explaining what Parks was saying. I don't think that's the what, case. What, what would be the reason for wanting to keep playing football then? Joe just said it's the 10... Tampa Bay legs. Listen, we've, we've had this talk. Yeah, y'all are trying to have. We've I'm had, not. Yeah. We've had this talk. Yeah. Unless y'all want to fight about it. I don't. I'm I want to go back to Kanye. I'm Even though we shouldn't go back to Kanye, but still. On a, on a more serious level? Well, he did a lot more shit. I wanted to hear more about him on Carson. Carson Tucker Tuck, Carlson. Tuck, Carlson. Carlson. Carlson fucker. <laughs> I wanted to hear more about that. Uh, he went and sat with some other people. He sat with everybody. Mm-hmm. My thing was when, when he sat with the people, the rational reason or rationalization for him doing the t-shirts, mm-hmm. it all changed. Every no, time. every single time, and the, the contingent. I mean, depending upon who he sat with, the the the, the reasoning changed. <laughs> it was never one reason. It is one reason. That's what I keep telling I'm saying you. what he told yeah, them. Yeah, the way that he's spinning it. Yeah. He, he never told them like one definitive thing and said it on this show and this show and this mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. It always was something different. And it's that's the same thing I told you last pod. Kanye, depending on who he's in front of, is going to talk to them that way. I guess. His ultimate goal is him. He hit all the bullet points of different places and people to piss off Word. at once. <laughs> I saw the comedy made about Lizzo and her weight. Then I saw a comedy made about ASAP, which automatically means Rihanna. Uh, then I saw a comedy made about Drake. Well, did Drake have anything to do with this? Along with the Puff shit. 
Bro, he, along with the boozy shit. He just seemed kind of lost. Along though. with the fashion lady. Yeah, but every few years, we we give him the grace of mental health and maybe his medicine and what he's mm. gone through. And he, uh, he lost and his that, mom. That went on for But that's my and point. Years. And I think yeah. slowly but surely, niggas are getting fed up with his shit. Mm-hmm. He has to align with somebody else. Like, you're going to have to start going outside to align with people, i.e. fucking Tucker Carlson, Carlson Tucker, whatever the fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. is his first name. Um, you got to go over there now for that interview. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to start doing interviews with other people because when he comes to our platforms, niggas is going to start eating his fucking lunch. Niggas are going to start eating your lunch. So Well, he's he, well, he been stopped coming to our platforms. <laughs> No, he did, he did drink champs last year. He was on Breakfast Club and them a couple times. Like, but now niggas is tired of your shit. It's no more caping for you. It's no more copping for you. I'm going to sit where I have control of the edit. Exactly. <laughs> like, and, we'll, and with people that will be uh, sympathetic. Yep. Because that's yeah. what that's what the Tucker Carlson interview was. That's my point. We're not to gonna sympathize with you. Yeah. The he white was, people are now gonna look at you like, oh, he he's a little troubled. We did that before. Mm -hmm. Now we're not doing that no more. Mm -hmm. He pandered to them with the fucking shirts. Of course they go. Yeah, yeah I'm and gonna he go got on there them. talking all the, the Christianity <laughs> thing, and yeah. you know that's his bag, Tucker Carlson's bag. So he was. Oh, uh, he, he's not crazy. He's he's just a man of God. Yeah, Kanye he, knows exactly what he's doing. Uh -huh. I'm not. I, I just want to see the Kanye Puff versus. That's it. That's all I want to hear. No music, though, right? Yeah, no. I don't care about well, that. It'll be a nice little soundtrack <laughs> to it. <laughs> it's gonna have the slaps. Drum heavy. <laughs> it's quite a slap. It's quite a slap. It's quite a slap. <laughs> For sure. A jagged edge might make an appearance. <laughs> it's going to be groups that have nothing to do with these two legacies. <laughs> Stupid, yo. Two people going to be puffy after it's over? Yeah, sure. No, it's going to be too puffy. Hey, I see what you did there. Take, take pull that. Up, take that. Pull out my little drum roll. Right, take that. That's funny, yo. That was a little, a little up there. Oh, I can give it to so you a little louder keep, than keep that. Your book open no more. Huh? Why you don't keep that open? Because then they won't be able to see my beautiful face on the camera. Mm. And what's more important, uh, this or my beautiful face? Who you asking? The world. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Can't answer for them. Come on, you want to talk about uh, the BT Hip Hop Awards? Oh, let's do it. All right, let's get to it. Let's do it. I enjoyed it. I was entertained. You were good. You were entertained or entertained? entertained. Oh, okay. oh wait, no. Before we move on, I got to get messier than that. Oh, okay. Wake that up, Joe. <laughs> You know that little, <laughs> what he said about the boy has been a little rumor for a while. Which one? But who? I'm lost. He said, Drake will fuck your baby mama's mama. He's a milf hunter? I'm not joking right now. Drake will uh. fuck your baby's mama's mama. And yes. <laughs> What's the problem? I, I mean, yeah, I, I've, I've, I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> is something that, wrong with that? I, I think Take it would, away I think that would make him more of a genius <laughs> Take it away I think y'all been fucking the wrong one of them for a while <laughs> If there was one to fuck when Baby mama's mama Dre 3000 told y'all yeah. I just bring it up to say If there's any truth to those rumors That make Kanye even more of a nut Why? Because there's one of them rumors you don't put out there Oh okay it's not the rumor you Yo, exposed. Dog, why are you talking about me? And who anybody slept with. You yeah, did the same thing yeah. with ASAP, who's married. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. It just looks like he's trying to alienate a lot of places at once. It looks like it he just, has no brain to mouth. It'd be like, yo, filter. I did this, but y'all ain't say... He ratting. That's like, yo, I did this, but y'all ain't say nothing with such and such was doing no, this. No, the nigga just thinks and talks. It's not even a... As soon as the thought is here, yeah, it comes right. out. Mm -hmm. And now he puts it right on Instagram. He oh, puts, yeah, yeah, now he's not even talking. Yeah. Yeah. Like, dog, Which is why he deletes the shit. Like, yo, his pay. Oh, shit. Y'all mad at a t-shirt. Y'all mad at a t-shirt. Why, why y'all wasn't mad when, when, when I couldn't see my kids? Nigga. <laughs> I know he ain't taking that same Pete Davidson approach with Puff. That ain't gonna work. Seems no, to be no. a different strategy <laughs> this time. This time, that around. one ain't gonna work. No, no, no. Different no, no, no. tone. But no, Pete Davidson told him, yo, come over here. I'm staying at XYZ. We can come kick it. I know in Kanye's tone it was a little and his reply it back, was. it was different. It was, it was a different. lot different than this. Bro, he told that man, come do something illegal to me. Yeah. Yeah. That's I've very, never in my life. Goons pulling up the Damn. SNL. That was crazy. Bring your thousand goons over here, nigga. Bring come your thousand goons. do something illegal. He told Boosie, because I was just reading that one, yo, if you're going to shoot me, like, like, what are you doing? You're lying. He, that's what he said. Niggas will pick and choose who they uh, 
Play tough with. Mm. They know. Niggas telling Pete, I'll beat your ass. Come to SNL, get you beat the fuck up. Uh-huh. Tell her, tell her the boosie, nigga. <laughs> The BET Hip Hop Awards. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody watch them? I watched them. Well, I missed like the first half hour, but I watched most of them. I missed them. Performances? I mean, the main one for me, the only one I really cared about was the Loud performance. How was it? Amazing. Loud Records, my, for me, it was my favorite record label ever. Oh, cute. Can I zip, unzip your backpacks out there? <laughs> yeah. <What>? yeah. <laughs> come on, get, your, on get your backpack yeah, out the closet, you guys. They had Mob Deep, they had 3-6, oh, they had bro, Pun. Big Pun, come on. Yeah, they had everybody over there. M.O.P. briefly, I believe. Yeah, they did. Yeah, Annie Up was... Uh, was Dead Prez over there? Dead Prez was over there. Yeah, come on, man. Come that, on. I was thinking about that, too. That, that that's fact that he said Cracker in a song that was that big of a hit is absolutely amazing. <laughs> that's a great song. That's a great song. <laughs> Great song. Look where his brain went. Yo. Yeah. It, Times were different. Yeah, I guess. Man, you know how many F bombs were in songs that yeah, you true. can't say today? But I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn. What? Can you pontificate later? <laughs> yo, you sitting over there like a mime. Go ahead, yo, talk. No, I don't want to talk about this. I'm letting Parks get his backpack and shit off. <laughs> no, but Cracker is different. Like, the white people like that song. That's crazy to me. It's a dope song. It's an amazing song. <laughs> if that's on the, that's crazy to me. Just the things that white people did, then <laughs> that's got to be down by number seven trillion and forty. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. No, the loud, the loud set was the greatest set to me of the of the night. Did they have much all- deserved? It was uh, for Steve Rifkin, but you know, obviously, did they have ciphers this year? They, I, th- I only saw they one. Did. I only saw one. I think there were some digital ones too, which I did not see. So none of us saw it. No, from what so, I heard. They, right? They is that, is that what I'm getting here? Tammy Roman was in the cypher. Yo, did anybody see it? Yo, please. Don't lead with Tammy Roman was in the cypher. <laughs> did anybody see the BET Awards? I did not see the BET know. Awards. Okay. Well, Just let's me. not lead with Tammy Roman was in the cypher. <laughs> I'm kind of interested, though. I ain't going to hold you. All right, get your shit off. <laughs> nah, people was... I would, Somebody was talking about it this morning in the store. They said Tammy Roman was in the cipher. Meek Mill's baby mom was in the cipher. They had oh, like this. randoms. Yeah. Yeah, what? Right, all Ish do mind. is come in here and tell us what he heard in the store. That's all I do. <laughs> I know. I didn't see this cipher. <laughs> Wait, and what, see this cipher. and what store was they talking about Tammy Roman cipher? I don't even know who Tammy Roman is. But now the meat conversation I do want to talk about. <laughs> Let's go there. Hey, come on. Is that hate? I'm asking y'all. The Meek situation. His baby mama allegedly, yeah, allegedly, look, I'm so pussy. <laughs> <laughs> she allegedly freestyles on her <laughs> Oh, His baby mom freestyles on the awards. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Meek takes to Twitter to say, yo, BT, stop trying to have my baby mom's looking stupid and blah, 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 blah. He went on a whole long rant about it. That's I it. missed that cipher. That's hate. That's hate. She chose to do it. She wanted to do it. What's her cipher? <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> 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 What's her cipher good? Oh, yeah. Is her verse good? Was it, was it good? Uh, all right, I'm going to go let, let this out the cage on you. Get your shit off, Ice. Come on. Nothing. I'm just. One of y'all stand firm and come on. You, you asked me, is that hate? I mean, I'm, he ain't got to like it, but it's still coming off as, hey, if that was what she decided to do, she want to rap, she want to get in a cypher, nigga, what the fuck? Was she dissing him? Or was she just rapping? She was just rapping about her business. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost. I don't see what the... She ain't no rapper, nigga. Nigga, who, who else was rapping? So if they picking randoms and letting them rap, and the, she wanted to rap... No, no, all right, hold up. Now you're going to make me defend Meek Mill. Now you're going to make me defend me, Mill. Go ahead. If the only reason they come in to ask you to rap is because of your relation to me, then I should have the right to say, hey, baby, don't fall. Don't fall for the mousetrap. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. How we know that? That's the only reason. Did you hear the verse? I, no, I'm asking. Oh, well, like, you want me to pull it up? Well, That's I right. know because I've rapped all my life and I heard the verse. I'm saying. <laughs> That's she how has, I she, know. She has a, a, a rather successful brand. No, she has a successful she, brand. Yeah. So I can't say What that do that only... have to do with rap? 
I'm just talking about rap. I could tell that I'm, she has never rapped oh, before. Yeah. Well, That's I, all I'm saying. You heard other names he mentioned? I'm like, I don't think that. But they, Tammy Roman rapped before. So, oh, I mean, sorry, I'm joking with Ish, that. but she has at least rapped before. I didn't know that. I can tell that this young lady has never rapped before. I could tell that whoever wrote this verse, he did a pretty good job. It's a pretty good job. But if you can't deliver the verse, I guess if I'm meek, I would be saying, or I've said before to people, yo, take your time. If that's what you want to do, take your time, own your craft, and go out there and do what you got to do. But don't just jump at some shit because BET is throwing you a bone because that's what it looked like. Remember right before the awards, I came in and said, yo, it's feeling really Atlanta-ish to me. I got to watch it to see. Mm -hmm. But this is exactly what I meant. Just shit like this. What you mean? That cypher? Is Cypher is without rappers. And when I say Atlanta, I just mean playing the numbers, playing the what's hot, playing what's trendy. Mm -hmm. Rap Cypher's been, without rappers. They've been from people doing that, have, that for a minute. How many minutes? A while. Not a while. Yes, I a while. I challenge yes, that. Yes, a while. I'm not saying it was been all non-rapper, but they were going to get who's hot. Nigga, we was um, there was rappers that was getting clowned no, for doing cyphers. There, I haven't seen a rapper do a cipher at BET in a, in a couple years. <laughs> BET Hip Hop Awards in October usually has cyphers. I know. I'm saying I ain't seen too many rappers doing these cyphers. Certainly compared to how it used to be. Yeah. It's an absolute disparity. To it ain't, even, pre it ain't yeah. even preem up there no more. Nah. That let me know what the fuck you trying to... And, and, uh, Embellish, not embellish, fucking. And they do more like trap sounding beats. Yeah, yeah they let, come they, on. They, they, again, they're getting the current sound. They mm -hmm. playing a numbers game, like you said. This is what the young people watching. They don't want to hear that. And I'm not mad so at them for it if that's working. Yeah. If that's working yeah. for what they're trying to do, and clearly it did. Uh, Kodak say the viewership rose in his beef with BET. And on top of that, like, you know, we've had instances where you had a couple of these younger trap rappers, if you want to call them that, come up to radio stations and they go and play a preem beat. And mm. they're like, bro, I can't rap over this. I don't, you this ain't what we do. All right, well, we ain't getting too far off the point. If you turn the TV on tomorrow and your baby mom is up there spitting a verse and it don't sound like a Foxy Brown verse, you're going to feel away. I'm going to feel away too. And guess what? I would be hating on her. Yes. To I would feel, feel away. away. Yeah, I would feel away. You're absolutely right. So not before you took any action, it's hating because you feel away. It's hating. I can't control what that woman do. So yeah, if she wanted to go and rap, but you feeling away has nothing to do with what you. But when can I control. vocalize it, that I'm feeling away, I'm hating. That's you adding action. I'm talking about. I'm talking just, about meek shit. Meek oh, vocalized it. I'm just talking about you feeling something. Oh no, your feelings is your. Feelings. That's not hate. That's not hate. Got it. Feelings got it. is feelings. Got it. Got it. Got it. But what you do with those feelings makes it hate. Got it. Yes. I disagree. Okay, let me hit. Because it could be coming from a good place. It don't got to be coming from a bad place. If I saw my baby mom get on TV and make an utter fool of herself and we was cool, I'd be like, yo, BET, stop, yo. No, I would tell her directly to stop. I would tell them to. But go and pop. <laughs> but look, but look. Y'all only got her up here because this is my baby mom, potentially. CC, you know, BC. ACD. All of you. But, <laughs> Stop your fuckery, but yo. But the second you go on a public platform, like i.e. a Twitter or an Instagram or something like that, and you start doing that, it's hate. That's all I'm saying. I disagree. Okay. It's, it's fine. Do you agree to disagree? I'm giving my opinion, nigga. Same? Got my, got my people out here looking like a dodo. But they didn't force them. True. And probably paid. Oh. I don't think you'd get paid for the ciphers. Maybe they did, but... She, she you might have used this commercial time for me. Uh-huh. I can go in here and just promote my brand. Mm -hmm. Was Kodak hating on Lotto? <laughs> Wake it up, Ice! I don't know exactly what he said. What did he say in, like, in context? Because Lotto won the war, right? Come on, throw it to our Kodak side of the room. Yeah, it's the Kodak side? Yeah. You and Lotto. Parks. I fuck with Kodak. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Um, yeah, I know he should be able to get a headache and then tell people to kill themselves. No, that's how great that's how great his music no. is. Anyway, no, what'd you say? He definitely should. No, you say he shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> Go ahead, Parks, explain. Just let I, I don't really know the details. You you brought this one. Yeah, to, they, uh, niggas never to know the set. details of their favorite yeah. artists. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't say he's my favorite artist. Me I just fuck with him. <laughs> Dak Bunny. <laughs> 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 nah, um, I just saw the where he he referred he called her uh, fra Frappuccino. And I don't understand. I guess Lotto's Lotto, 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 Latte. 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 Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, 
A, Again, it's man. A bit of a, like, <laughs> it's a bit of a reach, man. It is a reach. <laughs> hey, yo, fam, that's funny. I don't give a shit. That's funny. But, it, uh, but he was back. She won, what, uh, best song over him so, or something? Yeah, yeah, which, she, if you ask me, Super Gremlin should have won. But. Over I, Big Energy? Yes. You're bugging. No, no, your Big bugging. Energy was a hit. So was hit. Super Gremlin. Yeah, it was. Not in commercial America, it wasn't. Nigga, that, that big energy song is on mad commercials. I hear that shit in the Target. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I do. That you shit right? wasn't. Ain't no super different. gremlin out here in Walmart, nigga. Could be right. And they put that shit on. Uh, they remixed it and put it on a couple car commercials and all, all that right. shit. That shit is a smash. Yeah. You're naming a bunch of instances where they got paid. Regardless. It's, it's, not, the, it's, it's not regardless. That's not true. Because but even if they paid for the placement... It's now being heard by no, more no, people. No, 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 no. I didn't. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. When you say who got paid, the label and Kodak on the Super Gremlin front. When you say you hear it in Target, no, he's no, about, we're talking about, about no, we're talking, talking about, about Lotto, 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 Lotto record. Oh, I was Lotto was a crossover. No, that song yeah, is yeah. a smash. Yeah, crossover. That big, big energy. Yeah. That shit is on commercial. That shit is everywhere. Uh, I was only bringing it up to say when it comes to award shows. Like Lotto's label paid for Mariah to come out at that last award show. Yeah, true. Like there's certain just yeah indicators of things yeah. for sure. Super Gremlin was a smash because it was Organic, a smash, yeah. yeah. And maybe the label picked up later, but they ain't spent no money to continue the rise of that record. Right, Lotto. That you, shit is you everywhere. Could tell that they knew when they first got mm-hmm. that record, they were winning that when award. They went and cleared the fucking sample for that record. And like, where was that that uh, Mariah came out with Lotto last time? I think wasn't it the BET Awards? No, no, it was the. Grammys? Might have been VM- VMAs or the Grammys. No, it was one of them. It wasn't it was the one BET of Awards. Not the I don't think it was I the thought it was the BET Awards. I think it was the no. BET Awards. Bro. It wasn't the BET Awards because... Well, because no. Because no, what? it was the regular BET the Awards. Regular BET Awards. It was the regular Awards. BET Awards. Uh, yes, it was. Yeah, that was the BET Because I looked at the You're screen right. and said, no way Mariah's coming out. You're right. Exactly. Because it was the BET Awards. No disrespect. Oh, yeah. No, no. This is the BET Hip Hop Awards. You're right. You're right. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. This was her award. This was her award. Yes. See, why Kodak don't know that? Yeah, it was beat. And he clearly got a thing with her. <laughs> they keep going back and forth. This is since before she came and sat with us. So they have a thing. Yeah, there was, there was a thing when people thought, you know, we never found out exactly who it was, but when she was saying about the one person that wouldn't clear the feature um, unless she, you know. I don't know. There was a there was a something going around <laughs> saying that one of the features on her album, um, the person that wanted to either do the record or clear the record. Somebody yeah, did a verse and wouldn't clear the record unless there was some energy return. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. That and was the people implication. were speculating it was Kodak. Hmm. They, they didn't say it wasn't him, but that was the thing. Like that was a, a big story at the time. Too many niggas hating on girls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that excluding the meek topic because it's different with your baby mom. So. It's definitely different. <laughs> I do think it's different a little bit. Yo, if you got still up, hate on your baby mom. If got up there but, and did a rap, and the rap wasn't hot. This nigga will use exact names. Won't <laughs> it's your baby mom. I, I think Joe would be mom. well within his right to be like, yo, don't do that. I don't think that's him hating on his baby mom. He want the best for his baby moms. You know what I'm saying? But again, if she got up there and was spitting that shit, that nigga will come in here the next pod and be like... She going crazy. Mm. Well, here here the difference the- is, the difference is, and I guess you're right and you're wrong because Ice is right. Whatever her decision is, is her decision. You mm-hmm. have no input over it. If she want to go out there and belly dance for the next 20 years, you just got to, even if you're mad at it, and this is the part Meek hasn't got to in his evolution, even if you're mad at it, you got to support it. <laughs> even if you're angry and hate you it, could talk you, have you, could- to, mm-hmm. you have to publicly support it. You should want it to be successful even if it goes against the plan that you, the vision that you saw. Because mm-hmm. it's all funneling back to the same place. Exactly. Hopefully. Shit, you think the, the boyfriend in me wanted to break up and her go do some reggaeton video in Miami with snakes and shit? <laughs> Around a bunch of the boyfriend, fiance, ex-fiance in me would be like, oh, what are you doing? It's not the position anymore. Now the position is go win. Win, win, win. Yes, yes. More snakes. More <laughs> belly dancing. More water. Splash. <laughs> Go. Whatever needs to happen. Yeah, I'm with that. You th- Meek you, ain't got there yet. You think it feels differently if 
if if if it wasn't because that shit was dope. You think you feel differently if it was whack? Yeah, but for it to be dope, there had to be a whack one. To. Yeah. It wasn't all dope. If she came and sat here, I'm sure she would talk about fucking horror stories of having to overspend doing video videos, getting bad edits, bad cuts, it looking bad, firing a whole team, having to do it again, putting out some shit and not going, performing bad, and then you get the one where, oh shit, Everything it's works. coming together. Yeah. And that's when I come on here and start playing it, saying, yes, go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. My take on it. So you was thinking I, I didn't play it when it wasn't? No. Damn, yo. No, I believe in that as an artist. And I know that people like to fast track careers now and artist development is like dead. Completely I don't dead. believe that any artist should go out of their way to put a light on them before they're ready to have a light on them. That's what a lot of people say. I go say through that. I say that to, I said it to. I said to my son, I applied to me, anybody I care about, I tell them that. Don't go rush to hop on a stage or hop on a TV or jump on somebody's song if you're not ready, you're not ready to do that just yet. Because mm. you're going to do more harm than good. That's what a lot of the critique is uh, when it comes to the Ice Spice chick. Like, it's no development. Like, she's just getting started and people ain't even giving her a shot. Like, it's like, I come out here, I do the song. Yeah, I, I, this might be her third time performing in front of a, a big crowd. So I don't have that down yet. And th there's no room for growth. It's like, oh, she's bad. She can't do this. She can't do that. She can't do this. And yeah, she's going to have to catch up to that record. Yeah, they did it with Lotto. Remember she performed at the awards and it wasn't popping and they dissed her. She talked about it when she sat here. Mm -hmm. She talked about, yo, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm new. I just got to get my performance game up, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll get it better next time. Yeah, but Lotto, even in that position, she was still being groomed yeah, for that had, then. I know, but again, Ice Spice Girl is brand new. Is out of a Bronx brand spanking two uh, two bedroom apartment yes. somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't know nothing about nothing, mm -hmm. and now she got something that's it's more it has valuable a value than anything. It's she's more ever valuable had. than yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of niggas thinking her name is Munch. <laughs> they don't even know her name yet. She got to yeah. she got to catch up to that song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not turning down no bags because I don't got no two step. Hell no. Not hell no. Crazy nigga. You want to get that? And I'm raising a price on you niggas. No, you might want to. Not her. I disagree. Not her. Oh. Not her. She need to go in all the markets mm -hmm. where they don't know her or the song. And go get every and dollar you fall. can while mm -hmm. it's here. Hey, have the mic cut off on you. Whatever. Have the yeah. crowd that booed mm -hmm. you. Who cares? Go through all that shit. It's mm -hmm. important. Um. Uh, best hip hop platform. Uh, round of applause. Drink champs. Yeah. Ties with Carisha, please. That one was a little strange because there's only a few episodes, but I mean. Shout to Puff, man. Shout to Puff. Shout to Puff. I like the drink champs. I like they incorporated them in the uh, in between the segments in between with Fat Joe. They kind of had the set on the stage. That was cool. Okay, that was ill. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it's podcasting on a major. Uh, we like it. Yeah, I like we it. like it. Uh, I like the Carisha Please show and it's Revolt, so I support it, but y'all know good and goddamn well. <laughs> Carisha Please was not tied with no damn drink champs. That should have been drink champs. But Who are the nominees? There was, uh, I think NPR Tiny Desk was one of them. There was some, there was some strange choices, in my opinion. Yo, in can we category. find the nominees, please, so we can give them to an audience that maybe did not see? And I, like, I, Alex, I can you cut a TV on? Can you do something back there <laughs> so we can, like, Deliver some facts. <laughs> I sent out a link, but I'll read it off. Best hip hop platform: Big Boy Neighborhood, Breakfast Club, uh, Carisha Please, Complex, Drink Champs, Hip Hop, uh, Hip Hop DX, Million Dollars Worth of Game, NPR Tiny Desks, and Versus. Oh, dog! Come on, Versus hey, won that one. All of them. Fair. And if you was gonna do a tie, it, it should have been. Three chips and three chips. Or a million dollars worth of game. Million or a million dollars, yeah, for sure. That's the for top sure. if you're going to do the for top. For sure. I'm not mad at any of that. Yeah. But to sneak Carisha in after six episodes or five episodes. It's too early, in my opinion. It's the Atlanta Awards. Yeah, true. What were some of the other winners and categories? Do we know, Alex? Can you read them off back there? Kendrick cleaned up. Got you, yeah. Kendrick cleaned up. Yes, he did. Makes sense. Hip hop artist of the year, Kendrick Lamar. Hip hop album of the year, Kendrick Lamar. Song of the year, Lotto. Best hip hop video, Baby Keem and Kendrick. Yeah, he cleaned up. He cleaned up. Best uh, live performer, Kendrick. Lyricist of the year, Kendrick. Oh, all right. Kendrick show. It's a Kendrick show. Mm -hmm. That's no argument for me. 
Yeah. Not mad at it. Mm. Drama won DJ of the year. Kind of wanted to see K Slay get it, but I get it. Drama did have a huge year with the Tyler album. Breakthrough artist. Not just that. Glorilla. He's had quite a few albums. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the one that got me, I mean, best duo or group, Earth Gang won that one. No disrespect. I love Earth Gang. I would have, you know where I stand with. No, we don't. 42 Dog ESTG, man. Sorry. ESTG performed. Glow Real performed. That was dope. ESTG performed with Jeezy, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, and then right after Jeezy announced Snowfall, the album dropping. Yeah. Round of applause for that. That's right. I'm excited about that. Me too. I'm working. Too. We're drumming, right? Yes, sir. Drama getting to it, boy. Yeah, relax. This nigga over here rocking and shaking. Jeezy come out, that nigga started twitching. Oh, don't worry. I'll be in here with a snowman shirt. <laughs> I know you don't you don't you fuck you fucking better believe you know, it. Relax. That nigga will coon by y'all boy. <laughs> <laughs> now let him get his excitement. Nah, he over here. Yeah, no, nah, I'm here. Y'all know I'm here when it comes to when, it, when it, Jeezy. It was the Kendrick Awards. It was the Kendrick Awards. And fairly justifiably so. What do y'all uh, think yeah. about Kodak beefing with BET? What's the the, the beef is over him losing that award? Like, yes. Same think, way we've seen mad times before where y'all promised me something to get me to show up. Not saying that happened to him, but I show up, I do all of the shit, I perform, I jump through hoops, and then y'all give my award to somebody else. If that's his stance, then he's right. <laughs> I mean, again, I don't know. I'm not right to shit on publicly shit on Lotto. True. He should have took the five year route, which was, hey, nobody robbed me. She earned that award. It's mm. hers. That was dope. And he said that about Glorilla, who just popped up yesterday. I was mm-hmm. about to say that too. Like, I was trying to find what their cutoff was for these awards. Yesterday. Yes, yeah, the day before they filmed. <laughs> yesterday, if you was from Atlanta or Memphis. <laughs> hey, when you're hot, you're hot. I ain't mad at it. Right. Yeah. Can be. New York got to get hot. But yeah. Puff said we in last place. Go get hot. Poppy performed as well. He killed it. He did the City, city of God shit. Yeah. Okay. Um, some of the other winners. Uh, Hitmaker won producer of the year. Okay. That's another one I disagree with. Um, I, I thought Hitboy would have definitely won that award. That wouldn't have been mad at that either. But shouts to Hitmaker, a friend of the show. Um, Hustler of the year, 50 Cent. About time somebody gave 50 some credit. Like, 50's been killing the exact game with these shows for years. The mm-hmm. shows don't win. They always get overlooked. Every time the Emmys come around, it's like, yep, eh, yep. Eh. So it's it's good that we, when I say we, I mean BET. I, I know. It's, <laughs> I know. But it's good to just see the nigga get some recognition for putting all this fire out for all this time. Outside of music. Um, other winners. <laughs> what? You disagree? <laughs> nigga, say something. I don't know where to start. <laughs> start wherever you disagree at, bro. One, the, the award is Hustler of the Year. Mm-hmm. I don't know if any of the <laughs> other programs have that award. <laughs> but um, it's hustling. Shout out to 50 Cent for becoming a, a, a mogul. <laughs> this is fucking hustling. Yo, it's so easy to get ice to coon out for some yeah. shit. How is that called? Hustler of the Hustler Year. Hustler of the Year Award. <laughs> uh, All right, it's my birthday tomorrow, too. I got two birthdays. Yeah. <laughs> I just made some shit up. <laughs> Dog. But the same programs, and again, I'm I'm a fan of all of his shows. Mm. You be shitting on some of his shows. So what? So you saying he putting out all his fire, he been getting I shit it on Tommy. I would love to finish. He he's that's trash. He's he's putting out all his fire that's getting overlooked. But Tommy you be is trash. Dissing. They gotta have Gary on do it. <laughs> I've said all the other ones was fire. BMF, fire. <laughs> Tariq, fire. You said Mary Kane was hard. I said Mary. I'm saying the show okay. is still good. Yeah, Yo, you know what's funny in entertainment? Yo, we'll argue over some shit that the nigga himself don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will sit there and unpack. 50 Cent himself will say, take that award and flush it down the toilet. <laughs> we'll fuck about that. Get my yeah. money. I'm wealthy. I'm getting my mm-hmm. money. I'm super wealthy. I'm going to the bank. My, I'm out of my stars deal. Hey, good looking BT, but I can't be there tonight. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Sure. I can't be there tonight. Busy. No, me and Yayo and Murder are fucking over here performing <laughs> on tour, Sweden, Hamburg, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, something little like jerky, that. Something, 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 something nice. Sold out. A little something, something. Mm-hmm. But shout out to BT. Uh, shout out to uh, Jesse Collins. Shout out to Fat Joe. Posted it. Shout out to Fat Joe. Killed it. Yo, they ain't hollered you for the host? I think you would have killed that. Thanks. I'm not trying to be funny. I, I, I didn't think you were, so oh, thank you. Yeah. They, they offer it? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all be wanting to clock you on my phone. Why? Because I asked you if they offered. You said, I don't know if they offered. I don't know if they offered. How would you not know? It didn't come across your desk? Yeah, to, I, didn't, I didn't read to that. To say yes or no? Yeah, I didn't read that. Oh, man. I didn't read that one. If they offered, you would say yes? I don't know about that one. Really? No, don't have me fucking host the BET Hip Hop Awards. They call me for the awards. For the regular BET Awards. Yeah, don't call, do don't call me for this. No, I'm asking. You would do that. Though. I'm touching. That's yeah. dope. Yeah, I would do that. Don't call me for the Hip Hop Awards. <laughs> no disrespect. That's disrespect. So. It's not. That's my opinion. I disrespect it. about no, I what I would it. do. I ain't telling about what nobody else should do. I understand that. How, all right, please explain it to me then. I, I missed the song. Because I don't want to be put in a hip hop category. Like, don't, don't, it's bigger don't than compartmentalize hip- me or my brand or put me in a box. I don't fit in there. So when you start talking about something more global, then call me. Don't just put me in a hip hop award box. It's the BET Awards. Cool, I'll come do your show. But I don't want to be subjected to just the BET Hip Hop Awards. But I'm hip hop. Not saying that's all not, I am. Who, not, says, I, didn't, I, didn't say, I didn't say that's all I am. I Joe am R&B, man. I don't fit in that box. All right. Okay. And, and, if, and, and, and if you don't want to be in that box, music. and if you don't want to be in that box, it's important for your behavior to match okay, your words. That, that, why, why would you go do the hip hop awards when there's another award ceremony a few months before this? Sure. They wouldn't call understand. Kevin Hart and say do the hip hop awards. Of course, I'm not Kevin Hart. I'm not saying that. Mm. But I'm saying, why the fuck would I be rushing to do that? Now, Fat Joe, that might be what he wants. What he want to do? That's my bag. I fuck with this shit. He was great at Atlanta. I'm doing Wendy Williams. Like he may be grooming himself. Is that what he's doing? I don't know. I haven't had talked to him about it. Oh, I was talking about the Wendy Williams. He put a book out. Too. Oh yeah, no, he did Wendy Williams. Yeah, he put a book out. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, Fat Joe had a lot going yeah, on. Let me check that out. If I had a book out, then maybe I go. Yeah, he doing whatever you. Yeah. you know what I mean, he doing what he got to do. Yeah. Um. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I have nothing else from the from the hip hop awards. No, I didn't. Community. Yeah. It was uh it was entertaining though. A good watch. Well that's good. I mean this is this is what the second or third B E T awards that, you know, we kinda came in here and wasn't shitting on. They they've been getting it right for yeah. a little bit, so that's Dang. a good thing. They ain't had Shorty. Who's Shorty? All right, I'm done with y'all. Do y'all think Offset fucked uh, Tweety or not? <laughs> like, come on, this shit y'all doing over here. That's what you're I mean, about. it's the allegations seem to be there. The opening song. I mean, that's the, what uh, I'm doing. That ain't what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what they said on the. Uh, well, they alluded to. You heard me a few weeks ago arguing nigga down about this. So I that ain't, clearly ain't what I'm doing. Who, but if Quavo put out a song that say, "You fuck the gang," mm-hmm. and if you wanted to fuck the gang, you could have just told me. And the gang could have fucked. And that is one nigga missing from the gang. <laughs> I don't think it takes Joe to put one and one together here. Might have been one and two. <laughs> That's true. But that means that one and one is still there. That is true, too. So mm-hmm. it's it's true. Right. She might have did that with two. Two. But that means you did it with one. Which is all good. But I didn't know about it. Yeah. And if I got to find out that you did that with a nigga that's in my group, some other type of way than you telling me? Or him telling me? Know what I imagine that to look like? And I don't really have to imagine. (laughs) It would look like that elevator video that came out. Yo, boy, you good, boy. I ain't good. This is... It, it's <laughs> connecting the dots. Yeah, it's just connecting it's, the dots. The dots are all right there. They be right there. The dots is right, right there. What it might look like? Get my Bentley. That Draymond Green. Oh yeah, give me that Bentley back. Oh yeah, I'm taking that Bentley back. My Bentley back. You fuck my man. I'm taking the Bentley back. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I'm coming repo. to get. I'm coming to get that. I'm the repo man. Yeah. One day higher. <laughs> one day higher. Signed a one day contract with the repo. Yeah. <laughs> coming to get that car personally. Only one yeah, car. No, no, so I have to come get that. Yeah. I gotta come get that. Stupid. I wouldn't even feel right if I sent. No, I got to come get that myself. 
I don't know if they pop, but... Well, if hypothetically, because we don't know. We don't know shit about shit. It would make a lot but of sense. in the event that this happened, is true, mm-hmm. what does it mean? Nothing, right? <laughs> Absolutely it, nothing. The, Honestly... the person that internalized it, yeah, evidently it means something. Because that's, that's what they're saying that the group broke up over. So evidently it meant something to them. That's what they're saying? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. That is then, yeah, it meant, yeah, then, yeah, then that means that's something. Yeah, is that is that that's called that's that's cause for a group to break up? Yes, right? it is. If you, yeah, that's valid. A, that was his girl, girl. It's mm-hmm. not just like a girl. Yeah, that wasn't just a little. True. That was his girl, girl. A little slide over here. That so was, yes, that the, the yeah. group is gonna disband. No, we done. We done. And we might need a bros before hoes. Is that the Dray, window? Little Draymond might need bros know. before hoes. Is that the, out the window in that situation? Oh, nah. oh niggas just say that. Bro- no, that's not true. If it was bros before hoes before you pop, you would have told me. Well, you'd have got my okay. Because if it's bros before the hoes, you mm. take into account your bro. Man, these niggas love saying bros before hoes and don't really be living that anyway. At all. <laughs> Wake that up, Ice. Niggas, that just sounds <laughs> Wake good. that up, though. That, that shit sounds amazing. It's these never niggas, bros it's before hoes. Never, never bros before. It's hoes before bros. It's hoes before family, <laughs> work. Yeah, hoes before everything. Rap, everything. Hoes, <laughs> hoes, hoes before life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's how they move. It's just true. That's that's. That is how they move, bro. When the last time you seen uh, uh, bros before hoes? Mad Eskimo brothers out here. Let me hear this. But our stance is always different on that. I think that it's, 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 it's a, uh, a etiquette that you take. I also think that it could be done. We could be Eskimo brothers um, based on a certain level of communication. <laughs> because you might not mind. So if a nigga came to you and asked you, yo, you mind? And you say no... Then and Quavo minded. I think he would he mind as well. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Albert Einstein. Ain't got nothing on you. A lot of mind. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful mind, Hell Russell yeah. Crowe. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 would, I would agree with that. I'm just saying, but in the instance, he might have pushed it. You know what I mean? I can't be in a group with you if you fuck my girl. Yeah. How do I trust you with money? How do I trust you with anything at that point? How can you say another bar about fucking somebody's girl? Bar. Like while, yeah. I'm, while I'm in the studio. And there's a lot of those bars in there, so. Yeah. Know what you fucking rappers need to bring back? I thought about this the other day while I was outside. I was listening to some shit, some hardcore shit. It's like, damn, these lyrics sound real. <laughs> <laughs> and I went back to thinking about some of my old bars and some of the old fab bars and just old mixtape bars. I'm like, damn, yo. They just need to bring back fake gun bars. <laughs> That's another they, reason that they, they stop? Yes. <laughs> no, no, they got real. I don't know. They no, might be real, real now. Yes, okay, okay, they okay. stop. I, said, I got you. They there are no real. fake gun bars. No, they are. You, you telling they me you ain't never have a tripod with a gun on it? Oh, they in the URL. They all in the URL. Huh? You ain't had no tripod with the gun on it? No. I didn't. Thought you was a real nigga. I made it up. Oh, it was a lie. It was <laughs> false. It was dishonesty. <laughs> At its finest. Yeah. Entertainment purposes. Yeah, only. that is <laughs> it. I do not have y'all's best interests or mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you a freak, Parks. That's not me. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some 80s porn. What the fuck is that, bro? I'm a Debbie freak. does Dallas? <laughs> Freaking out here, like, y'all. Like, one of them food pages I'll be following. Yeah, I bet it was food. Yeah. <laughs> Thought the grooves in the heart lady was about to come out here on the <laughs> mat. <laughs> this nigga got the LSD music. When you go to your favorite shit on the porn category, what's the furthest page you ever went to? <laughs> you know what Man, I've done? I've gotten far. Nah, I gonna I don't, but I don't go one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Yo. Look, I start I'll skipping go, around yeah, after yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah, you I'll made it past 20? Nigga, yeah, I'll just, what? Yo, I'll just randomly go to 77 or something. Yeah, I, yeah. I do. Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm going to yeah. get to that back end. <laughs> One way or another. Yeah, because it'd be some gems That's where back. the fire be. There'd be a few there. gems back <laughs> there on 76. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, man. 58. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just some random number. I give mm-hmm. up. I start searching something else at that point. Nah, 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 it's some more heat in here. I didn't I get to. If and, I go to like one and two, next thing I might, the next one I click might be like fourteen, or no, nah, it might be something that I, I just start scrolling. Some, one of my little old school favorites when I was in my twenties, mm-hmm. she might be back there. You like, oh damn, I forgot about. Her. And by the time I'm on page fifty one, no lie, I got this shit memorized by now. <laughs> I know which page it was some other fire on. 
<laughs> oh, 21, no. I'm a, look, let, look, me not, hey, let me not skip over that hey, 21. Dog, look, you might be like, um, that might be a comeback. Like, you, 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 you Mark, that, know, like you said, your know, mental brain, you know. like, yo, page 17, all right, let me see what else they got. Mm -hmm. If I don't get nothing well, in my next five back. scrolls, I'm going to go ahead back to 17. And if I think I might forget that it's fire, bookmark. <laughs> uh, bookmark Open a new it tab. Up. Open yeah. a new tab. Hide it. Secret tab. <laughs> <laughs> Hidden tab. Listen to the horny not, brother. Not public. Yo, don't search the cookies. That's funny. So I, nah, thought, that's I funny. thought it was only me. Nah, <laughs> No bullshit. I thought it was only me. Yeah, no. Yeah. You scroll down a little sixteen options. You be like, let me see what else. <laughs> With that one, right, number seven. Yeah, yeah. I might come back to number seven. That might be the one. All right. What else we got? Man, it's nasty. Styles P is retiring. Styles P is retiring. I'm sad from his that. solo. From solo. From his solo, solo career. career. I'm still sad about it. Solo. I love. What solo do career. you know? <laughs> I'm sad. Looks like you can retire. From your solo career. Huh? I'm happy for him, though, too. I see where he's going. Wow. Mm. Didn't know that could be done. And, and, still, and still maintain your group possibility. <laughs> fucking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he made it a point to say, he said, yo, I'm still performing with locks, recording still, with locks. Everything locks I'll yeah. be seen with locks, but just for me, how I'm feeling, my mental health. I'm he's cool. put out a lot of work. And he, so. stepped, out, he stepped away from uh, Juices for Life as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and I like how he did it because he said it wasn't just an, ab an abrupt retirement. He said, I'm retiring. I've got two more solo projects coming to y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So you know what time it is. Count them down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm telling you, when I was retiring and when typically when rappers retire, it was rappers never retire. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy today watching rappers retire or plan for their after rap life I like to see it in action from people that we grew up on I say it all the time I grew up on Style Speed yeah. so to see him just develop the way he has and turn his life into what you see today yeah that's fucking amazing fucking amazing I agree that's, what a, a solo that, that's, that's another one you know like you said earlier a lot of younger fans might just know 2016, 2017, 2018, peaceful styles on the internet. You don't know. Yo, my first time here, niggas done started something. Them Hoboken Project <laughs> niggas came to the basketball court, stabbed up a nigga who had next. <laughs> so niggas done started something. Was on. Let me like, tell what you song is that? <laughs> <laughs> back in the early. That shit was hard that they were stabbing them to. Back in the early. Back in the early. Um, they were stabbing them to the beat. God <laughs> damn, I ain't even see all that blood. <laughs> that beat was going crazy. Back, back in the early. Twitter days, you know, Styles has said something. Somebody was like, yo, pause. Didn't realize, like, everybody don't play. Everybody internet. Don't, yeah, internet. They don't. And Styles quickly introduced him to who he was mm. via the internet. And I don't think I've ever seen anybody pause Styles again. <laughs> like, that was on display. It was like, oh, shit. My, He's my not, bad. Yeah, 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 yeah my oops, bad. Oops. He don't play like that. Oops. So That's an oops. It was an oops. It's an oops. Oh, yeah, like Drewski. Drewski said something about uh, NBA young boy's wife or girlfriend, baby mom. Oh, you ain't been on the internet. And NBA young boy people responded and said, that's why y'all niggas be dying. <laughs> See, it's like, <laughs> all right, my, my bad. Oops. My bad. Is that a oops? No, that's oops. Nigga, that's a whoops. <laughs> <laughs> That was it, short and sweet. Yeah. Mm. Keep playing. That's why <laughs> that you was over there. That's, that's not funny. No, nah, that shit ain't Stop funny. Stop playing with me, nigga. I ain't gonna say you no <laughs> nah, more that, time. Yo, man. what, what, what nah, did he say? Funny. See you soon. <laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> yo, that's the new threat. Not not threatening you is the new threat, yo. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Peace and blessings. <laughs> nah, nigga, be like, keep that energy. <laughs> be safe. All that. Nah, that. Nah, keep that. That young word was funny though. See, that's why y'all niggas be dying. <laughs> it's funny, son. <laughs> niggas shut right on up. Niggas, mm. You will shut. But why these niggas don't know that you're not supposed to say nothing about nobody, girl? I do not understand that about them. because that's, it goes back to what Ish kept saying, yo. It's because they don't say nothing about nobody, girl, yo. No, you know when you don't say nothing about nobody, girl. Tell them when you gotta see him, and the nigga will knock the snot out your nose. Around here is over on the internet. I'm not gonna see this nigga. I can mm -hmm. say whatever. That's I want. a man rule, by the way. 
What? These niggas don't say nothing about nobody. Uh-huh. Nobody mother nobody or mother, nobody girl, girl. nobody yeah. kids. Don't like, invite uh-huh. nobody to your dick. All these that's niggas are Where do y'all think these niggas are getting these man rules from? Like, we know that's a man rule, but where do you think they're getting taught man rules from? Their you know, fathers. No, they, what? What? Who? <laughs> Who? Their father has an at they name. Father. Their father has an at name, an <laughs> at sign father. in front of the name. No, that's their father. The pot. The pot is their niggas, father. Niggas' fathers is at such and such. Nigga. Outside, if you ain't have a father, outside was your father. And you learned that when you said certain shit, mm-hmm. you, certain shit come with that. You see Arthur little fist be shaking? It was coming <laughs> at your face, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? These little niggas is different. Mm-hmm. No guidance. Uh, all right, I'm going to toss this to Parks. Let's hear it. What we got? We have uh, Sean Paul's remarks on Bad Bunny. Sean Paul? Sean DePaul? Well, one of the Pauls. It's not him. It's not Sean Paul. No. It's, it's some Paul. Jake Paul? Oh, well, one of I them. always confuse those with those Paul boys. Sean Paul is not one of the Jake boys. Jake Paul. Logan, Logan Paul. Logan, Logan, Paul. Logan Paul. Paul. Paul Mason? <laughs> one of the Pauls. McCartney. Is a Puerto Rican. Oh, no. So God, Bad Bunny is a Puerto Rican living in Puerto Rico who is privately taking advantage of the same tax program that he is publicly condemning. Is that true? And, 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 and I, I know this. His, his, his act is called uh, uh, two, two Cientos Caritos, and so does his manager. Uh, and I see things like this, and it hurts. And, I, and, and, and some, there are local Puerto Ricans who know about this. Mm. So I see this, I see this music video that has stuck me in the middle of it, that, that uh, surrounded by context that makes me look like a, a vulture in Puerto Rico. And again, while I love Bad Bunny, I, I, I cannot personally support the, the hypocritical nature of his exploitation. Ow. Now, I saw that. I knew Parks wasn't going to have that. I have No, I mean, I know you no, weren't going to talk about Bad that. Bunny that way as well. Oh, yeah. I don't think anybody over there is going to stand for that either. Puerto Rico. Yeah. I'm just going to... Throw up a scenario here. Sean Paul said, yeah. Who do you think you're going to sign? Who do you think the Puerto Ricans are going to sign with? Bad Bunny or Logan Paul or Jake Paul or any of the Pauls? Chris Paul. Any Paul. (laughs) (laughs) You'll probably sign with Bad Bunny. Pope John Paul. Any of them. (laughs) Might be Bad Bunny. So, is that a thing, though? He made a video talking about uh, people coming in and taking advantage of uh, some tax loopholes in, in Puerto Rico. And I think they used him as an example or, you know. Whatever. I don't know if he was an example in the film or what, but he took offense to it, and that's his sh- him shooting back. All right. We'll shoot back. They're gentrifying Puerto Rico, basically, is what, what Bad Bunny shit was saying, and he was an example. So it was blood on the street by property. <sighs> that's what they doing. Can you move that mic closer? They saying, basically, that when the first shit happened, mm-hmm. how many years ago was that, when Trump uh, was throwing the... Bounty to the people. That was probably what 2016, 17, something Seven. like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was that's what he was doing. <laughs> that like, is what he was doing. Yo, but then now they said that Boy. people ain't had no choice. They were selling their houses and shit for the cheap five mm-hmm. grand, like just to get money to, to feed their kids. And they said all of the U.S. investors was going over there just buying up mad shit. Mm-hmm. And here come the resorts. Resorts gonna be up there in the next five or six years because they buying the property so cheap. And also, if him. Taking advantage of the loopholes, he's Puerto Rican. If there's tax loopholes for Puerto Ricans to buy property or whatever, shouldn't Bad Bunny be able to take advantage of that, being that he's Puerto Rican? From Puerto Rico? Lives in Puerto Rico? I'm not getting my Puerto Rican news from Jake Paul. <laughs> or, <I> mean, <laughs> Today in PR my, News. This is my area of expertise. I don't know anything about the tax laws out there. But... I'm not listening to Jake Paul about them yeah. when it comes to Bad Bunny. Logan Paul. All the Pauls. Pauls. All the Pauls. Yeah. 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 Uncle Paul, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Michael <laughs> Paul. Yeah, Michael Paul. <laughs> all, the, all, all the damn Paul. Oh, not a single <clears throat> Paul. Stupid, yeah. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Good luck. Yeah, that's the wrong tree to buy. Yeah. Though. Yeah, especially with Parks around. <laughs> Parks will climb up there and fuck your ass up. All right, looks like Meek Mill has chimed into. Yay gate. He's tagged in. 
Yeah, he tagged in there. And I think we'll continue to see people tag, chime in on this. Oh, absolutely. Throughout, and we're going to see Ye respond to everybody. Throughout the week, throughout the month. So get used to it. Mm. Yeah. Get used to it. Meek says, and I quote, uh, I used to listen to you. I used to listen to Ye every day and night in jail for motivation on God and came home and watched him shit on my name and brand like nothing. I ain't say nothing, but I been knew you was on that nerd trying to shit on street nigga shit. You just said it to Boosie. It hurts my heart to even know some of y'all crazy are this crazy and lame. I don't need no verses from no niggas because I've been hot since 13. At Justin LeBoy, don't invite me to none of them weird ass parties with bro. I think I told Justin LeBoy the same thing. <laughs> I go off on I go off a, a person, not fame for money. Speaking from a nigga that been buying support that <laughs> like, Speaking from a nigga that been buying support, yay, since he came out. I'm assuming that's a typo. But what you be doing for fame driving you crazy. Look how hard you came at me. Nigga, no, I'm vocal. It's like you hate your own people. You ain't even post at Vory's album for all, after all that work he did for you. And he look up to you. And you made sure to say Jack Harlow was the hottest in Kentucky and overlooked EST and Vory. Damn. <laughs> And that was some he Meek mm. and Meek will hit something. He'll yeah. hit something somewhere. For sure. There was some signaling in that whole fucking uh what he said to Boosie. Yes. There was a lot of that in there. Why well, we ain't re- I, I didn't hear what he said. I think you deleted it. But he he flip flops in it. It's standing that. You no, can't can't delete that's it. That's true. Look, he flip flops in that. Cause he'll uh, around the right audience of people, he dissed He'll 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 act like he kind of borderline street. He Ooh. said the shit, yeah. When he said the shit about um, most deaf, not most deaf, Talib. Yeah. He said, "Yo, I was just playing back plaque rapper mm-hmm. just to get on with you niggas. I ain't really that. Mm-hmm. I'm really a street nigga, border. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. he said that. That's because niggas get their new gang affiliations and but start feeling. What I'm saying though is he flip flops according to what what room he's in. Narrative he's trying to so put that that time. So uh, he can't say that signal niggas. switching. He can't say hey signal switching. Whatever he can't say that in a room uh, full of street niggas. And Boosie is that. It's some other people is that that he's talking to. This ain't Talib. This ain't Pete. Sure. Mm-hmm. My thing is just standing who you are. You get what I'm saying? Like, if it's who you are, it's who you are. Just a bad idea to piss off the streets, the blacks, and the corporate companies what, at the what, same what time. He, just so you know, I'm, I'm going to read what he said to uh, Boosie. <clears throat> yeah, this was crazy. Don't speak on me, little Boosie. Speak to me. Yeah, little nerd ass me. Come smack me or come shoot me. I'm the one that got bullied by the entire black celebrity community. Now I'm back to shoot the school up. Whoa. I don't even like that reference. Yeah. Me, I don't like none of that. None of that. Yo, that's too that's too much to me. But you being back, <sighs> and I think Boosie handled him respectfully in that drink drink champ. He did. Mm-hmm. He said, "Yo, like I ain't." I don't Everybody know. starts off with, "Yo, I got love for you." Same way Meek just did. Everybody does that. Mm-hmm. Even last part, I did it. Yo, this, these are you. the albums I love from you. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. But it's when just, he get on extra doofy time, yes, yeah, he it's said, hard. "He said, uh, I'm the dude that got bullied by the entire black." Celebrity industry. I'm celebrity uh, industry. So. Well, that brings some truth to what Azalea Banks says about uh, him hating blackness and just. So now, guess where so I'm you going? You let niggas talk long enough. Boy. They'll tell you where I'm going now. Over there to them. Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, or, Tucker. Or, or the rest. Yeah. Candace, Tucker. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. all of that shit. Like, fam, I didn't get accepted here. Mm hmm. I was dying to get accepted here. I didn't. So now I'm going to go over here and get this validation from the other people. That's sick. Until they dish your dumb ass. Then guess who you run back you to? Run back over here. Mm-hmm. Run back home. Look, y'all. Look what they did to us. Yep. Us. Then it's us then. Us, it nigga. Us. It ain't us. It's you. You died to be over there. Take your dumb ass back over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. fuck out of here, nigga. Now, don't stand on your blackness now. You married Kim Kardashian and her family and then... You on the show. Mm-hmm. Now all of a sudden they not beating to the beat of your drum. Now you want to diss them too and point that out there racial. Man, fuck out my face, dog. Goofy. For sure. It's all opportunistic. You using whatever, you know what I mean, platform you on to put. Man, sit your 
when at the end of the day, you all better than me. Tell me about uh, 19 Keys and my song going back and forth. So, my, there are people that are arguing that same 19 Keys belief that y'all niggas arguing over t shirt. What do y'all say to the people that say, that's my question. What do you say to the people that say, y'all getting really worked up over a t shirt? Some people, well, I think, I think more along to what 19 Keys was saying is that, yo, it's fake outrage. Like, I'm off him. Or whatever little shit he do, it can't rile me up no more. Mm. But 19 Keys is also saying that the public outcry will be so loud for this. A t-shirt. Y'all need to keep that same energy when it's some shit that's way more important than the t-shirt where everybody else goes silent. And he kind of writing that. He writing both. To the, it's just a t-shirt. It's not just a t-shirt to me. It's a t-shirt that is being given to the world. Mm -hmm. And we are at a place socially in the world where um, he represents something. Kanye represents something. He represents mm -hmm. hip-hop. Mm -hmm. He represents um, young urban blacks. For lack of a, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so when you go to Europe and you push this, right? So people that don't necessarily speak to us, they might not speak to Joe Button, they might not speak to Ice Park. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We stand on one side of that coin, but now they like, all right, cool. He represents them. He he's their spokesman. He's the custodian for them. So this his sentiment is in line with theirs, and it's not. I wish he would just go <laughs> and skip all of this embarrassment. <laughs> A-T-S-K. -A I don't... <laughs> but he this, won't. I don't even... Ooh, good one. Dog, if, you do, still, if you do this... They still won't accept him. Because he don't want to be accepted in that light. He wants to be... He want to be equal. My nigga, he's, he dropped Balenciaga's name every time it benefits him. Listen. He's he walking around with fucking equal. Balenciaga mouthpieces in. Mm -hmm. You just dis... Or no... You know what I'm saying? You just are not like whenever they don't accept him, he shit on them. The same way he doing with the black community. It's anybody. Yeah, he gonna be it's on the island alone by himself. Ever, you could tell this is a person that's just used to always controlling every room he walk in, getting everything he want. No, no, disagree. I think this is the case with him. Yeah, he like Takashi to me. And now when I walk in, and I have Recently, no control yeah, over sure. this. I just act out. It's like a kid. That's what I just like. act out. Very, and that's what it looks very, like. It's like temper tantrums, left and right. Yes, it's a kid, huh? Very child. You used to get in my way, yeah. but I think my that daughter is two. When my my daughter knows I'm putty in her hand, and if I say no for something as small as she wants some juice, no, you can't have that right now. She's dropped down on the floor. She's just throwing it. That's what he's doing. So the second he's not getting his way. I say no to my son, but dude is kind of tall, so he just go to the fridge, get his own Get his shit, own juice. I'm on the counter. Yo, I want the chips. No, nigga, shut up. <laughs> Green <laughs> chips, man. I'm going to get them. I want to get them. I'm I wasn't downstairs. asking you for them. And then I'm going to daddy's room. What's up? I'm a little punk like that, too. It's good to be like that with your kids. Oh, you got to, man. That's when your baby moms look at you like, you sucker. <laughs> come, get, come get your kids since y'all love each other so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, you brought up the Kardashians. A uh, great time to segue into thoughts, prayers, love, condolences, warm hugs, and embrace for Ray J, who is, seems to be calling out for help over the internet. Uh, Brandy just posted a picture, said, we need you, Ray J. I'm going to echo the sentiment of his sister. Ray J, we need you. We love you. And... Not enough was put on... Not enough was put on whatever he was saying about the battles he was going through behind the scenes with this Kardashian shit and how it was affecting his mental health. I don't know enough about it, but he said, yo, you fucking with my mental health. <laughs> and... You fucking with my mother's mental health, he said, too. Um, and that's all I got, man. I don't, I don't have a, an, an opinion on this. I just want Ray J to be well. Right. Because mm -hmm. I mean, we don't really know it's, you know, the full details. Mm -hmm. But well agree. wishes, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, Puff and Mace. Puff and Mace. Puff Back. and Mace. Back at it again. <clears throat> I don't care, yo. <laughs> but get into it. We we do a pot. Puff went to the Breakfast Club and said, you know, that he didn't steal from Mace. And in fact, Mace owes him $3 million for an album that he did paid for and never turned in, never mm -hmm. received. Mm -hmm. Did he say that or did Envy say that? Which one? Because Envy was like, yo, you paid him for an album and you only got one album. Uh -huh. And it kind of stumped me. Because I know Mace had two albums dropped. No, yeah, one album on Bad Boy. Mm -hmm. 
That Double Up album wasn't no damn bad. Bro. Really? Look at the album cover. It was Arista or something, wasn't it? <laughs> the album cover, listen to the beats, look at the oh. features. No singles, no mo- nobody put money into this. That was like a secret album. Oh, I didn't know that, see? I didn't know that. But um, I felt Puff when he said that. I know y'all call me a Puff Venger. You're a Puff Venger. <laughs> when he said me. what? I am a Puff Venger. When he said what, though? He said, yo, I did one album with Dude. Like, why I still, it's 20, 30, 25 years later, why do I still got to talk about me, me and Dude's business when I have one album with him? How much money could I own? Yo, Double Up album was Bad Boy. That's what I thought. I'm looking. No, I thought so. Maybe it was the third one. No, right? it, wasn't, so, it wasn't Bad Boy. I'm looking. You're it's looking because you have to put Bad Boy there, but it's not Bad Boy. Nobody from Bad Boy was involved in that album. Oh. But you have to put it there. It's called an override. That's, As, that's label shit. Put and, my uh, shit on the back of that album. But it's not a bad boy album. Okay. Well, and, so, and if it sold ten, back, mi- if it sold ten million well. albums, then Puff would have got paid. Uh, I'm sure he would have got something. But... Depending on what's in that contract, but most of the contracts at bare minimum, it's you have to put my logo on the back of that. Then we just have That's this off with Offset, Offset and, and and P. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Now, if you're getting into splits off your next album and all of that, that's something different. But at bare minimum, you got to put my shit there. But they took it away on Offset shit. Yeah. They yeah, removed it. it. He bought it himself it. out or whatever it was. Yeah, they so, removed so, it. So yeah. he wasn't under contract anymore. He bought himself out of his contract. But uh, who knows? Mace that's what happened with that, Mace. We don't know. He didn't because that's what he keeps arguing with Puff about. Okay. He was arguing with Puff about getting off the label. Envy didn't years. pull that question out of his ass. Yeah. I'm not just. I've heard that. Me quite, too. Yeah, I've heard that. That, what? Before, that he was given, I, don't, I didn't know the exact number, but he was given like an advance and there was no album. Mace was. I don't know if this, it could have been after uh, Welcome Back. Gotcha. I don't know when this occurred. It could have been after Welcome Back and there could be some other shit because I remember when 50 was trying to sign. I remember when 50 G was trying to sign and, and Puff wouldn't get Puff, a, right. Puff wouldn't it's sign. It's like, yo, I'm still, old, money I'm still yeah. owed some money here. No. So it, it could be that whereas I gave him an advance after Welcome Back which mm-hmm. I believe was 04 and I didn't get an album yet. There's where my money's, you owe me money or, or an album. And Mace hasn't dropped anything since, just a bunch of disc records. So. What do y'all think about this ongoing feud, this ongoing back and forth? I do wish they would settle it. I wish they would settle it at this point. And Puff said he, he's going to put out something. He said he was gathering the locks to you know speak to his. He said he got the receipts and yeah. all this other stuff. He was like, yo, I could document every single thing. Um, et cetera, et cetera. And then Mace came and said, yo, you can't really document anything because everything is in your mother's name. That's how you be hiding your money. And that's when that's I snitching. wanted to text Mace and say, if I'm close to my mom and I'm doing business, yeah, I can put anything in her name and she'll do it for me because she loves me. True, but it's also a tactic that jokers use to, 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 to um, protect themselves from being sued. Yes. So... Now you figure out a way around it. Yeah, but <laughs> it depends on if you're on the victim side or not. It, listen, if I'm on the side of yo, I gave you in advance. I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm saying if I'm on that side, I don't care if it's my mom's name, my grandmama name. You got some bread. I didn't get anything. Yes, some time has passed. You want you want to just go our separate ways. You want to buy out because May said he offered to buy out a certain number, and Puff ain't said the number uh, was high. No. So let me ask you this, right? If it, do you think I'm just giving playing devil's advocate at this point? If you think it was y'all gave you an advance and you ain't give me an album, Mace could have ran to the studio, did an album, and and put an album out. If that would have gotten him out of his deal, no. Mm-mm. And there's no way to really have this talk without knowing what was, what's in the contract. But most of these contracts say, no, you and I got to say this is an album. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the, the fight we keep seeing. Mm-hmm. But, so Amaze just went to the studio, did 20 original songs, mm-hmm. and, and, and gave it in. No, I'm not, no, I'm not putting this out. You have to accept right. this, yeah. this, this is not the album. I don't accept this. I can't do nothing with this. Go make an album. And let me, do, I don't know if y'all remember, because I don't. Do y'all remember what the number was that May said he tried to buy out? I think it was $2 million or some shit. Something like that, yeah. Cause that's the, if I'm not mistaken, that was the same number. I think it's, it almost sounds like I'm trying to give you the advance back. Cause that was the number I heard originally. Maybe that was, but that ain't gonna work. Again, I don't. I if don't, that's the case, I don't know. I don't know the particulars, so I don't really want to make hypotheticals. 
and, and judge on our own hypotheticals. What I'm saying is in business, in my opinion, business can be done, right? Like mm. business should be able to be done um, with with two people that are are level-headed if somebody not really trying to gain an advantage. I just think it, it could be done when you take the emotional pieces out of it. You okay, but, they, now, they, but now you asking me you to bring take too many no, normal real world shit into the music. But business. not just that. Hold on, but wait, 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 hold on. Don't operate that way. And that's, look, and that's, hold on, hold on, <laughs> and that's why everybody's disgruntled. But look, if but I'm everybody right, ain't. Listen, let's let's <laughs> play ourselves. In, 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 I'm, I'm using Puff and Mace example. For twenty some odd years, you've been shitting on me. True. Yeah, it's some emotion there when it comes to try to do business. I'm sure. sorry. I'm not it ain't just okay, let's just dissolve this equal. But, no, my nigga, you've been shitting on me. Forty something years old. Not only that. We did business. <laughs> we're not trying. We, yeah. We're not trying to do anything. And we did. And I'm not business capable. was Y'all done. Know I'm not. A, I'm not a puff mm-hmm. avenger. But just from what it sounds like, it sounds like it's a it's a misunderstanding on one side. Somebody don't quite get what's what this contract said or it says. I, I See, and that goes that. back to what I said originally about this whole Mace Puff thing when I was just siding with Puff. Mates don't even have enough like catalog to really have this talk the right way. Like he can't, he wasn't active long enough to have some of the Oof. opportunities to fix things available to him. There's only but so many albums he could play with. And when you was in the red on one, I guarantee it was cross catalog, uh, cross collateralizing collateralize the second one. Like he in the red. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to go sign Fabio. You got to go. You got to go find. Who says uh, he's in the red? Everything about this says he's in the red. Mm. Again, I, I just I, I can't really talk to the hypotheticals. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. he could be in the red. He I just be. like Puff just going to the radio saying, "All right, listen, I'm speaking. I'm showing up for me, and I'm speaking up for me whenever I have a microphone in front of me." Go on to the days where I just let these niggas say whatever they want to say about me. I don't say nothing, and y'all think whatever y'all think about me. But I got a side, too. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to go out of my way to just every day beat you down with my side. But when I do an interview or when I got a mic in front of me, and if I'm asked, I'm going to tell my side. I like that. And my other question is, Mason's response was, yo, I can't prove receipts because everything is in your mom's name. Right? He said he can't. He's saying he can't prove receipts. He's saying Puff can't. Like, nigga, you don't got no receipts, everything in your mother name. Okay. Where's the receipt showing that? Because May said he Puff owes some money. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's saying he, from what I heard, I think he's saying morally he owes him money. I don't think he's saying legally he owes him no money. No ish. That's not what he's saying. If you listen to the, the interview that he just did with Gillian Wallow, He's saying, yo, dog, I did a whole tour for this nigga where he was getting paid. He told the artists and the acts it was a promotional tour. But he was getting paid off the tour. Okay. So legally, yeah, I might have been on tour as an act and a promo tour, but he was getting paid. So legally, he don't owe me shit, but morally, he might owe me some money. We come in here every week and, and talk like, about the oh, law. Nigga, you signed this. What are talking about? The, 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 that's that, and, and that's what I think he's referring to. If you sign to, a contract that says it, it's, it is guaranteed, mandatory that you have to do these pro, at least two promo tours before every release, or whatever it says regarding promo tours. Mm-hmm. And now I go plan a tour and call it your promo tour. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> That'll make it right. You are doing two again, totally again, different. Again, you're trying to bring this real world right wrong shit. The music, this is the music business. This is the music business. I guess, but that, but but again, now it speaks to why all these niggas be disgruntled. You saying they not disgruntled? I think it's depending upon what. No, side I said of, not everybody. Yeah, it depends on what side of the coin you on. Puff ain't disgruntled. I bet he fucking ain't. He don't have a reason to be. Well, that's, I'm, that that was my point about everybody ain't. <laughs> I, I, I agree with you. I'm just saying, but <laughs> nigga, guess who ain't? Guess who ain't disgruntled? The hunter ain't disgruntled when the lion head is above his mantle. Ask the lion family, is they fucking disgruntled? It depends on who you talking to and who you asking. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know enough about this to even take a stance. I'm not rocking with Mace. I'm not rocking with Puff. I don't know enough of the particulars to really make an informed stance mm-hmm. on the situation. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going, it's, it's all hearsay. Nobody's given particulars. Mace haven't given any particulars. Neither has Puff. 
Mm-hmm. So you can't even really say, yo, he right, or I right. stand with him, mm-hmm. because you don't know. I just know that you Mace could, has you been could, disgruntled. You could, say, you could say what you would say if a nigga you knew in 96 came up to you today and said, yo, <laughs> hey, what happened about that back in 95 where I did, what's the name? You don't remember that? Like, where my shit at? Mm-hmm. Like, you could tell me what you would say to that person. <laughs> You know, you know what I find. You were Draymond Green his ass <laughs> right out of your face. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I find funny. As would about y'all, it. as would I. I'm gonna tell you what I find funny about it. When the five year situation came up, Mace was quick to pull out receipts and run off X Y Z. True. Super fast. True. Next day. He, like, same platform. True. Right away. Okay. This has been ongoing for 20 years, and you haven't produced anything. Because Mace wouldn't be the one with the receipts. He's the difference. I'm not I'm, defending I'm, I'm, Mace. I'm just trying to hear. The difference in the Fabio situation is Mace is the puff in the Fabio situation. Uh-huh. He's supposed to have the receipts. On the other That's, side of that, what? you can only name, you can't name what Puff got paid. Mace can never tell you what Puff got paid. He can't. He just know he showed up and he said, I showed up and went on a, a fucking national tour. And when we got to Seattle, I said, you know what, fam? I'm not doing this no more for no money. You got to give me some money. So let's just say he went on a promo tour, quote unquote, and it was named a promo tour. And we did 27 cities throughout the United States of America. And I'm not getting a dime. Mm-hmm. But I'm busting my ass every day. And I'm the headliner on these tours. Yeah, but you agreed to do the tour. True. It's my problem with True. that. I'm not disagreeing. Uh-huh. You might have did that, agreed to do that through ignorance. At this stage? Okay. Mace. At this stage? That was ignorant. With, it's with, new with, Mace. With Puff? It was new Mace, not today. I'm talking about old Mace. He was talking about the old 97, 96 is tours. Oh, I thought he was talking about the tour. He just did a, couple a tour years. with him. Yeah. No, he was talking about a yeah, promo. Yeah, he was talking about when, he he was talking about when they promo were new. Tours. Promo tour when they oh, were I new. Thought he was uh, talking, I thought no. he was talking about this. He was talking bad about reunion. Was, not know. that. See, that's ta- what I don't understand. No. Even that. He was talking about 20 years ago tour. Okay. You yo, know what I'm saying? Yo, Puff, Puff chose his words very carefully and said exactly what he meant to say on that interview, which was, I've never taken anything, anything True. from anybody. True. True. I believe that statement to be a fact. I could believe that as well. Now, do some of y'all have contracts that aren't favorable to y'all? Maybe so. Mm-hmm. But if that's true, then that means what I'm saying is true. True. I've never I taken take anything I agree. from any of y'all. I agree. He followed that with all I've done was given opportunities and made sure people had more than they did before they got to me. End quote. There's not a lie in there. True. Now, there could be a lot of bullshit in there. I was about to say, that still don't exonerate you from a whole bunch of weaselness. It could be a lot of bullshit in there. Could be true. But it ain't a lie in there. True. And I didn't like May saying that everybody's dead. I didn't like that. Yeah, I didn't like that part. I didn't like Biggie's dead, Black Rob's dead, G-Dep is dead, Craig Mac is dead. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that. G-Dep's not. He's in jail. Yeah, he's in jail. Oh, maybe he didn't say G-Dub. I'll take that back. Yeah. Shout out to G-Dub. But um, to, to what Joe was saying, though, and that was an emotional response. It's just ugly, yo. Oh, yeah, it's definitely it's, an emotional it, response. It's just ugly. It's just ugly. And, and again, if, if you feel as though you got swindled, then I think Mace should seek whatever he thinks he can get. I just don't understand, y'all. Like, I don't get it. Like, if I... If I know if you look, fuck look, me, you, you, I can't go to do the, re, the reunion fam, tour. Fam, sorry. Right. You're right. But you might have been desperate and needed the money, okay. and you took it. St- Both things can still be equally true. I wouldn't do them. You wouldn't do them. If I thought a nigga fucked me out of a whole bunch of millions of dollars, yeah, I'm not getting I'm not on no good. tour with him. I'm not, I'm not fool me once. Mm-hmm. True. So that's my that's my only thing I, with it. I, it's I, like your actions don't really line, line up, up with to what you're saying. What you're saying. I like, agree. And what you were saying when when I when I mentioned you know how quick he pulled out receipts with the Fabio instance. Whatever contract you signed, you should have a copy of your contract though. So you should still have some receipts to say, "Hey, look, I got this, and this is what oh, I." I'm got. sure he got that. that but that's all I'm. So, but, but, the, but I'm saying to prove his point. But that's in your I'm brain, saying. you saying I didn't get enough. That's a you didn't steal from me. True. <laughs> Look at Brandon Jennings spilling the tea. I like when niggas get messy. <laughs> what he said? Uh, this guy said, "Is it a sucker punch?" After he was pushed, and Brandon Jennings says, "Yes." You doing all that because you in this NBA facility 
which is a safe ground. But at Delilah, when Tristan, with Tristan, when he open hand slapped him and he ain't do nothing in front of LeBron and Drake, and he signed with LeBron, and then the next week. My nigga's so messy. T, T all over the place. Oh, man. my God. Mop the floor. <laughs> Mop the floor. It is good. Wake that up. <laughs> niggas is waking it up. That, that matters. Yo, y'all was shitting on that window cleaner, dude, but these shit's still, shit still glistening. It's still looking pretty good now. That was I'll, only one go? Yeah, what do you think? I'm just balling like that? <laughs> uh, no, shut up. <laughs> that, that guy did a good nice job. Nice little crease in that sweatsuit. <sighs> It's the built-in crease. That's tux- that's tux- there you go. That's tuxedo nigga, sweats. <laughs> nigga, nigga, anything in Zara got the built-up crease. I wouldn't know. Because you don't be in Zara? I do not. They ain't got that Turgi- Sergio Tashini in Zara, not, not, not boy. Not that color. They don't got that in Zara neither. That zipper is shining over here. That's the thick. I'm telling you, dog. No, 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 see- My zipper don't look like that, I. No, I see that. That's the guy's Nigga, I'm been to the Korean factories, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, hey, 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 you know how ain't no YKK on that. That ain't from Korea neither. Ain't no YKK on that zipper. Mm-hmm. No, nah, this is uh, Italy. I, we know. Yo, no, I know. <laughs> Milano. I don't know. And not me, girlfriend. That is a zipper from Italy, nigga. It is a nice, strong zipper. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you pay attention to too many details. I'm just saying, uh, yeah. fam. Clothes is clothes. That's it. Anyway, come on. Come down. I'm feeling like Kanye. <laughs> what you're saying? Wearing all this Italian shit ain't been African. <laughs> bitch, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, see? <laughs> Bottega, Bottega, Bottega. Ain't mm-hmm. been that Nick, Ghana. I know you better not nothing. have that Balenciaga mouthpiece over them veneers. Oh, we gonna have a feel. <laughs> <laughs> that just that's, all, that's all I'm telling you, fam. No, I'm not gonna get a Balenciaga okay. mouthpiece. I appreciate that. I would never. Yikes. I would hope not. Uh, yo, so, uh,. There's a new report on the girl that uh, M.A. Adoka slept with. Y'all, y'all saw her? I saw nah, her. I didn't see it. I saw it. Fill me in, pause. No, nah, I'm only bringing it up to ask. No, nah, I ain't updating y'all on shit. I'm only bringing it up to ask Ish if he would sleep with that girl. <laughs> That's the girl. I seen it. Would I pop? I'll pop. For real? This <laughs> nigga's fucking... Dick Tracy. (laughs) Every time I think I got got one that he'll be like, "Mm, nah. You think you'll feel like less of a man by saying no? I wouldn't. No, I'm just being honest. That's a bad picture. Y'all niggas come up here with the pod shit. I tell y'all niggas who. Yo, stop stealing my line. Y'all do? Y'all who? Who? I stand in my truth. Oh, please, Ice. <laughs> oh, shut it up, buddy. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you come up I'm here and say, all I do is lie up here. <laughs> that is you. That's, that's, that's the truth. <laughs> hey, yo, uh-huh. I, hey, Alex, uh-huh. could you get some... Oh, uh-huh. my God. Some, uh-huh. My brain is... Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate these Apple Watch niggas, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them the, all. The, the new approved joint. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah, titanium yeah, yeah. shit, Every too. last it's one of face. them. It's the big face. That know. nigga made a 42-inch Apple Watch. No, 49. 49 titanium. Titanium. Yeah. He's soft 49 as cotton. 49 millimeter. Pardon that nigga's bro. mad cuddly. I'm on Rolex. This girl loved to cuddle with him. She sure does. Titanium. Icy pool. Yo, what I yo, I see, yo I, you, she has to stop calling you that. No, she don't. Come on, yo. No, she don't. Ice. No, she don't. You can think of something iller I than I that. I let her pick the name. That's she, the problem. No, no, it's not. Come on. What works? She what, can think of something. What cool works behind that. my closed doors works for us. Nobody saying icy pool during do. sex. That's not Damn, true. Don't worry about it. Let me hear. It. Don't worry let, about it. Yo. Don't worry about it. I really don't Oh, want it. Icy Pool. <laughs> don't you worry oh, about it. Oh, my God. Is it hot enough for you, Icy Pool? You, you, you like that, my Icy, icy pool. pool? Oh, the pool, the pool, the pool. Oh, the pool, the pool, the pool. Oh, the pool, pool. Uh, oh, pool, pool. 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 All right, let me grow up, man. I'm, I'm too immature. Oh, man. All right, let me see. what. Yo. His name is Victor Wabibop, Wine Wabibop, Wabibaloobop, Bobby Bamboo. I finally said and, and yeah. every his name. Team, his and, name is Victor Wabibaloobop, Bamboo, goddammit. And every team in the NBA is trying to babaloobop bop on his That's ass. That's a fact. Fam, I finally <laughs> got a chance to watch some uh, videos, highlight. Oh, no. You trade, you trade Brown, fam? It's time to ask me no stupid-ass question. <laughs> LeBron is 45 years old. <laughs> is that a this yes or no? This kid is 18 years old. Yes! Yes! I trade LeBron and his son for this kid. <laughs> Both sons. Bryce and the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Call the nigga the other one. 
Because I don't know the names of him. I'm Bron, not trying to be disrespectful. Bron, Bron, Bron yeah, Bron, Bronny and Bryce. <laughs> Bron Jr. is the other one. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Some people would say no. I, I, that's why I'm at it. They are idiots. Some people say no. Hey, okay. Dog. I. Do you have you seen Skin? So I don't know what you're talking about. This nigga different. How many players are there in the league that you wouldn't trade for him? He doing that at 18 years old. I know. And, and some at seven foot five. And some of the argument is he's doing that against subpar competition. We'll see. But okay. he's not. He's in G League Ignite. That is not the same as whatever you brought up the last time we had this conversation about little kitty kitty. These are the, the pros. I didn't say nothing about kitty kitty. I said the these G are the pros. League. The G League. No 18-year-old should be walking in the gym full of pros and doing that to all of them. Bro. He just put up 36, 9, He's and 5 Bro, again. I like him. I'm not dis disagreeing. Who don't you trade for him? That's what I'm asking you. It's a lot of people you don't trade Give for. it to me. Giannis. Um, Steph. Steph. Uh, KD. Mm -hmm. uh, I might trade KD. Okay. Giannis can get the fuck out of here too. The fuck y'all talking about? Giannis. Bye bye. You and Thanasis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You and you and you and Thesaurus uh Thesaurus on Tempatuco. Y'all y'all can go. <laughs> uh, uh, enough of him. Hey, good energy in the locker room. Good great, but do that pa over there. Pa pack it up. Greek freak can go. Okay. Fuck y'all talking. Y'all must ain't seen the same I, kid I seen. Nah, he's a monster. I seen him. No, he's not. That's an understatement. He's super tough. Okay, that's an understatement. He did. That's an understatement. I the word, the word like, on him amongst, amongst the me. experts say today, them watching him today, this is the, the single greatest draft prospect that we have ever seen in the history of prospects. Sheesh. That's what they're saying about him. I would, I would agree with that. Sheesh. It's not he's tough. <laughs> he ain't tough. I would agree with that. Yeah, niggas can go. They can Bron, get off my team. Probably, probably since Braun. He's probably the highest lead touted person since Braun. Yeah. About that. Nah, Zion was high. Zion was high too. But there was question marks around. Zion wasn't though. him. There was question marks. Zion around. wasn't Braun. It's somebody's job to add question marks. True, no, no. But Zion, Zion was. Zion question high. marks with Braun. Nah, it wasn't. It was. it was no question marks with Braun. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. What yes, was? It was. It was question marks with LeBron. What were they? How. Uh, would he be able to do that against grown men? Mm -hmm. uh, would his game be able to adapt? Would he be as powerful? It was mad. His it was Bron, Bron's question would marks were... Would he develop were, a jump shot? Bron's question marks were physical because he was coming straight out of high school, going into the NBA. Would he physically be able to withstand the 82 games and the beating that it puts on your body? Zion's knocks were game knocks. Like, yo... LeBron had game knocks too. I don't, he definitely had game knocks, one hundred percent. Okay, and Zion had injury knocks as well. That was the no, one. I know. I'm talking. Yeah, Zion, I'm talking about Zion had the yo. I don't know if he's big enough to do. I mean, I don't know if he's skilled enough to play the three in the league. Like you or know, big what I'm saying. To play the four. Yeah, yeah, they had knocks on his game. LeBron's knocks were maturity knocks and physical knocks. I don't want to talk about neither one of them niggas. I want to talk about Victor Wap Baba Lou Bop Ba Bop Bamboo. <laughs> He's a monster. God damn he it. Is. He could do everything. He, he could do it all. Step back yeah. three, fade away three, pull up to three, the side, handle, off the handle, handle bringing it off up, the pit, all that block, dunk. I'm still growing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scary part. 190 pounds. We're going to see what he could do in the NBA. He's not Shit. 190 pounds. Oh, I'm cool. joking, That's but. Same thing they said about Kevin Durant. True. Hey, hey, you know, barring injury, this kid's coming to fuck shit up. Mm -hmm. All that Zion shit was cute. What other prospects was out there? No. Hey, y'all was real hype on Wiggins when he came in. Oh, cutting the Canada's Jordan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was there for all of that. This looks different, it, yo. It very much so. And, and much let me so. just throw this out there. Everybody's tanking for him. I wouldn't be mad if the Knicks tank. I do feel like the Knicks might luck up and get a high draft. They're not going to tank. But, no, they're not. But I do feel like they'll luck up in a high draft pick somehow. Um, Scoot, that Scoot kid. He's tough. Scoot Henderson. He's tough. I wouldn't be. Hey, pick number two ain't a bad consolation prize. He's tough. It's different with guards, but. He looks tough. tough. No, he's tough. He's amazing. He looks like it. He's amazing. Also 18. He's tough. League is in good hands. 
Mm. League is in really, really, really good hands. Mm. Uh, Andrew Judge. I mean, Andrew Judge. <laughs> Aaron, Judge. <laughs> Aaron Judge. 62. 62 home runs. Got it done. Let's hit the round of applause. Wish he got to do it at home. Darn it. But he got it done, man. Congratulations to him. Do you put that as the record? Huh? Do you put that as the record personally? I know it's, you no. know. No. no it's still berries. Yeah. I never discredited that Barry Me shit. Either. Me neither. Me either. I watched it. It this, is the this, greatest. This time was must see TV, but not like that. That was different. Yeah. That was pandemonium. I don't watch baseball. I was glued to the for the Barry Same. Bond shit. Yeah. But I mean, looking at what he did this year, it don't tell me that he can't break that Barry. He wasn't but nine away. Yeah. yeah. I, I that's my that's my thing. Like I don't look at that as un unreachable. It's not. We used to, we used to we did I'm saying but now seeing what he yeah, did this year that is not some unreachable unfathomable goal. Before fucking Barry Bonds, we the, the previous record niggas thought was unreachable for a while. Mm -hmm. I can't believe y'all let that white dude catch that ball and get in his car and go home. <laughs> I would have happened in New York, dog. I would have got he wouldn't have he wouldn't have got home in New York. <laughs> he wouldn't have got to the car. <laughs> he wouldn't have got to the stadium exit. <laughs> He wouldn't yeah. have left the seat. Yo, fam. But I would have hauled that home if I was him, too. Mm -hmm. he would, he, I've seen enough. Wouldn't happen in New York. People in close proximity that didn't catch the ball were, like, cheering for this guy. Yeah, no. That's all that's strange to me. No, that's kind of like the culture of yeah, being yeah. out there. Uh -huh. I know. You know how much the ball worth? Yeah. All right. And the dude was Wait, rich. What's part of them with the culture of being out there? If I you're just, in the baseball game and the person next to you gets the ball, you're going to be hyped for him. No, no, no. Not the ball. We're talking about that ball. We ain't talking about that. We're talking about the $2 million ball. Yeah, oh, we're talking about man. that ball. That you could have caught, but you didn't catch it. Now some fat dude next to you has it, and eating now, a hot dog. Now you take it from him. <laughs> no. And now you're just going to stand there. <laughs> man, where did they go? <laughs> Would you do that? Yeah. Y'all are such fucking liars. What do y'all want to talk about? What are you going to do, mug him? Yes, that's what we're saying. We're going to mug him. They know exactly who you are. You're on we're, camera sitting right next to him. And you're we're going to follow you're, him out of there then. You're going to fuck the They're not going to know who you are. Knock it off. We're mugging him, Parks. <laughs> fucking Dior got a push iced mask now. Everybody <laughs> got a poo. No, I ain't lying. He would know. Take his word for it. Well, maybe that wasn't Dior. But the display in front of Dior. You thought they was going to see y'all wearing that shit and not... Make fashion out of it. I ain't mad at it. I'm just when Pooch is coming on. Might get it. Uh, yeah, a couple more years. Yo, they escorted the dude out. Security escorted him out, and they he and was, then took it from him. Right? He was rich. <laughs> the dude was rich. He's rich already. Ish. I will hit you. Google it. Nigga's rich. He works in finance. He's rich. That I don't think, mean that. No, somebody talked about how much money he had. I'm trying to find the exact dollar. I've got to go to this store you go to. <laughs> <laughs> they be giving it up in this store. Yo. I didn't hear that shit <laughs> better than Shane. That, 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 that store? Mean, that store got Whoa, it. No way. So stupid. Yeah. They went from Tammy Roman's freestyle <laughs> to the financier. <laughs> and they got the Sergio. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> we going there. Nah, we out. So <laughs> that got to be downtown Newark. <laughs> Said the ball is worth roughly $2 million. <laughs> and the man's name, I don't want to say the man's name, but yeah, they said he got bread. I'm trying to find They ain't saying how much though, right? Not on this particular article, but no. Nah, but I mean, this don't shock me. Yeah. yeah. The way the ball bounces. Did it? Yeah. It don't never bounce over here. Yeah, never. Well, that he, cheap seat was probably not the cheapest my fuck is for that, that particular game. Good point. You had to get, have, have a couple of dollars point. to get in the door. That's a good point. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, since you talked the about the world is rigged. Look, since you talked about <laughs> you talked about mugging, uh, my man for the ball. Did y'all hear about the construction worker in the Bronx? Had a hundred grand on him from a from like a um, a workers' comp settlement uh -huh. and showed people. Why you do that? And you know what happened after that, right? He doesn't have the hundred grand no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just magically went away <laughs> right after he got. That's not funny. You know? That's I, terrible. No, that's funny. No, it's not. But fam. You got 14 bricks in that bag right there. <laughs> you got 14 bricks right in that bag right there. That bag? Uh, like said, that's a lot of money in that bag, bro. Why was he walking around with it? He just cashed the check. Why did he cash the check? <laughs> it's, it's, it's many questions. There's bad questions. He went to the. I'm cashing my check too for you. Like, oh. In cash? In cash? Dog, you? You dirty. 
<laughs> I'm shocked to hear yo, you they say make that. Debit yeah. Card yeah, sound, yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie, yo. That's some shit I would expect <laughs> me to say. You? They make debit cards. <laughs> <laughs> you need that in. <laughs> Never mind. Now I think about it. Yeah, yeah. That's on. That's on brand for you. I'm just saying, bro. I need my. You know I need my money in there. Nah, give yeah. me that. Give me all that. Debit. I'm gonna debit you, all right? Clunk a nigga right upside his Come head. Come on, let me play time. something stupid for y'all. I love it. Done one of these security. Have you ever done one of these security tests? Well, what if I were to tell you that you've been misled? You see, most people assume it's just a way to prove you're a real person. But have you ever noticed almost all of these tests are related to road activity? Well, it turns out that your answers are being stored as data. And that data is being used to teach cars how to self-drive. Have you ever done... <laughs> <laughs> what do you got to say now? Fuck me up at the end N now. Name the ones that show the bike. They always say, yeah, show the bike, the crosswalk, the, the traffic light. We're just teaching the Teslas? Because you, you're pointing out a bunch of pictures of bikes. So now when the car sees a bike coming. It knows a bike. It recognizes a bike. <laughs> I don't know if I'm rolling. I ain't rolling, dog. <laughs> yeah, that one I ain't like, rolling. It's a little rough. I'm usually right with here. the conspiracies. Yeah, yeah, nah, so it's a little I ain't rolling with that one. I think they, they could have taught the, the car a little, a little bit bridge. before that. Yeah, I could have just downloaded a 7 billion pictures of bikes in the yeah, car yeah, myself. I'm not rolling with that one. No? No. Because at some point, you could download all of that shit, you're right. I think at some point, you need a human to come say, okay, this is this, this, this. You need a human to come program it or move it around or do whatever. Parks, so, yes. Parks is a programmer. He works for the company. I know what a bike is, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got seven million pictures of bikes. Okay. I don't need my thumb to say it. They're going to go and do a census check or get some other people's input and put them and store them in the computer, not just Parks, who's a research, researcher, whatever you call Parks. Program. Why would I just rely on only what Parks is putting in there when I could get everybody in New York, New Jersey? I like it. You too, I'm rolling. You too woke. Girl. I'm rolling. You too woke. <laughs> I'm usually, I'm, you know, I'm, I fucks with the kids. And, and out of curiosity, I'm, I'm if it enough. is, what's the what's the harm? Like, where's the... Oh, no, not to say that there's harm there. Oh, okay. Yo, tell me the I mean, with the that bridge. leads to a conversation about how you feel about autonomous driving. True. And there may be harm there, but... How do you feel Actually, about there is harm there. there is harm there. Didn't Tesla kill somebody? <laughs> Nigga couldn't get out. Yeah, people, <laughs> people died. Like, stupid little smart car. A couple of them blew up. Yeah, they blow. Yeah, caught fire. Wouldn't open the uh, shut down. But people die in car accidents. Regular cars every day. Too. Oh brother, oh brother. Hey, yeah. I don't know that I like <laughs> autonomous cars. Hey, I like hey hey I like regular death <laughs> instead of digital death. We all got to go. Yeah. I, I want to go on some human shit. Yeah, I don't want to just. Be I don't. Wild. Yeah, I don't want just a robot like, to yeah. come crush me, or I can't get out because I can't think of the key code. Or, <laughs> but I, I don't want to do because some nigga was drunk and runs into me. Mm. The drunk nigga could be in an autonomous car, getting his dumb ass driven home, as opposed to him doing ninety seven, slipping and dipping the lanes when he had one too many Jack Daniels. I'm a, I'm yo, a I just wanted to play the clip for y'all, yo. <laughs> y'all didn't need to turn everything into Teen Summit. You don't, I just wanted to yo, play Yo, bro, you clip. are sitting That's here saying it. That's all I wanted it. to do is play a clip, yo. Yo, you crazy, That's dog. it. Y'all gonna crazy, get the uh, Tesla robot in the crib? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me put a killer uh, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me buy the killer I saw and I put him in the house. I've seen exactly iRobot. And it looks just like it, too. I've seen iRobot, and I've seen when the robot told the lady she couldn't leave. And I'm gonna watch the new iRobot with Michael B. Jordan. We can give him a we'll can what, give that role goodbye too. What, what, what are you gonna say to the robot? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nothing. He got to. Not a damn he thing. Got to. He can just point at one of them like Will did. <laughs> that would have been me. Like when the robots take over, yo, y'all gonna need me. I'm not gonna be here. Y'all gonna need a disruptor. Somebody gonna need to look one of them in the eyes and say, It's you. And that nigga going Draymond Green with the <laughs> daylights out of you. Uh, air fry that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I heard. laughs> that nigga beat your ass. Can't air fry the air fryer. Hey, take this cup of water, you electric bastard. Sit down. Y'all think the humans would lose if all the uh, electronic shit and the machines just had personality? Yes. Yes. And decided to wipe us out? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I don't give enough credit to humans. Because humans can't stick together. 
It's not even that. <laughs> we've exactly. become so reliant upon... Yeah, just play some algorithms for yeah. us and get us all tight no, no, with no, each we, other. Yo, look, we've <laughs> just become... How you gonna find them? The fucking robots would be... Like, they would just... Like, ain't, ain't no GPS. The robots are whooping our ass right now. The robots will have y'all killing <laughs> word, each other. Just Instagram. Like, <laughs> yeah, word. <laughs> Where's all of my pictures? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we would lose. I see they're, uh, they're bringing all that shit up in, in, into court. The algorithm shit. They're, uh, it, it's in, I think it's the Supreme Court to see if algorithms are... Uh, let me find the way they worded it properly. Um, there's a couple of different internet kind of protocols. One is them taking down shit in mass, whether that's legal or not. Like um, vaccine misinformation essentially would be one example, I believe. Um, but they're also curious about whether algorithms are pointing people to the wrong shit and whether the um, company should be liable for that. Like if, if Instagram shows you a bunch of uh, divisive shit, should they be held accountable for their algorithms being fucked up? But y'all could correct me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. I thought the algorithms feed you what you already go to. But the algorithm is still cold. So like he said, the algorithm could be fucked up. So let's say... Something real simple. You 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 like to see a bunch of green all the time, mm-hmm. and normally it'll show you shit with green in it. Mad but then shit. for some reason, start showing you mad blue. And they say blue is the best color and they, ever, and that yeah. gets you fired up yeah. and start lashing out against blues all across the world. That's basically what that, these yeah. algorithms do. That's literally what they want: shit that gets you fired up and interacting, they not necessarily emotional. what you like. Mm-hmm. It's 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 to invoke aside emotion. from aside from the hose. They just that's the- not that's not true because in, well I can only speak for my algorithms mm-hmm. my algorithms show me hoes mm-hmm. shows me mad real estate shit shows me mad business shit mm-hmm. it'll show me mad travel shit it'll show me things that I have elected to expound on but then there's a lot of shit that you send to me where it's like it's some some racial shit or or my algorithm send me that cuz stuff that, like that I open up but stuff like because that it gets you is fired desi- up. exactly and they're going to keep feeding you more because the algorithm is designed to invoke an emotion in you mm-hmm. that's what it's supposed to do that's how they get you hooked it's a drug it's just like any other drug it evokes something inside of you like a a, a chemical release that don't make sense to me but that's you, what, might, you might be right i don't want to argue you might be right it just again, I, I think that if it's feeding you something that you are already gravitating to, it's just giving it to you more in bigger amounts. How are they wrong? Maybe you don't want to see it no more though. Gotcha. What happened if I clicked on something one time? How many times you clicked on just something? And then next thing you know, it's you're bombarded with that. Mm-hmm. Never. Oh, that's happening. That happens to me all the fucking time. All, I clicked on one fucking video. It was just some weird shit. It looked like a, a, a truck was doing some wild shit. I'm like, the fuck? Next thing you know, now all I see is truck videos. Yeah. I don't want to see this shit. I don't, I don't even know how to turn it off. Yeah, I don't say nothing about this because I know who's back there uh, programming my algorithm. So I don't even talk about it. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Leave that alone, then. I don't want no sauce. It's definitely... John Stockton behind my explore <laughs> Just leaving it right up for you? I never seen so many assists. <laughs> I love my explore page. I think it's Scott Scowls or somebody back there. <laughs> <laughs> White chocolate. Sheesh. Magic and Jason Williams. But these are some of the best passes <laughs> in the world. Fair. Sometimes the pass be so good. I see the pass be like, damn, I miss that. <laughs> Where I've been at for her life. <laughs> hey, Parks. Yeah. What's the longest you've spent uh, on it? The longest you've spent on just the Explore page? Oh, I've been there for a while. I've been there for a while. I can't think of a time amount because you'd just be lost in the loop on Instagram. <laughs> and that shit could have been two hours. It could have been end no more. I don't like, even know. You had a nine o'clock appointment and you get off the gram and it's 947. And you'd be like, what the fuck? You yeah, started at seven. Instagram be trying to get you to cheat, boy. Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> they be trying it, but not me. I miss strong. I miss. Yeah. <laughs> I Black men don't cheat anyway, so, you know, salute to that. I be looking at the Explorer page like, yo, I can't even fuck this much that y'all, y'all, like, y'all just think I'm on you all day long to show me all this shit? Oh, Lord. You just got to tap out. Yeah. You got to. 
You have? I, I told you. you that's, you go ahead. I try not to even go there. Go, go ahead and feel froggy. Go and start a fight with your girl. Break up. Think. <laughs> go look at your phone. That whole shit going. <laughs> whole shit going to be different. <laughs> like, nah, where they go? <laughs> uh, your whole explore page going to be fucking Niggas rabbits. Giving you the cooking out of the room. <laughs> rabbits and snakes. Fucking. <laughs> 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 so I said family pictures. Like, come on. Cauliflower. No, oh, funny. don't you hate that when your favorite baddie start posting her family? <laughs> yeah, so you unfollow. It's like, oh, brother. <laughs> you unfollow. Or you just, you know, you just wait a little bit. Give a Come on, y'all, y'all, y'all said y'all said we in divorce season, right? What's going on? Oh, uh, oh. Miguel and his girl broke up again. Divorce. Didn't divorce is filed. I feel like this has been like the third time. Yeah, I'm going to say they, they. Nah, they never filed before, though. Oh, for real? Oh, they always just, just said they broke up. Got it, it's okay. Algorithm. This is the first time they filed. You think it was the algorithm? Algorithm will court Miguel. I'm sure he's got some nice ones. I like, the I like Miguel and his wife. So. Me too. Me too. Uh, it's unfortunate. High school sweethearts. I hope they're all right. Yeah. These fits. Are you singing Thieves in the Temple? <laughs> what are you singing over there? I said These Fists. Oh. These Fists, what? Always protect you. Huh? I'm. I'm but you just filed for divorce. That's it. I, I didn't say nothing. Uh, the Rust uh, suit has been settled. Wait, divorce? Huh? Well, well that was it. Divorce. That was added on to the last... And it's Tom, been, Tom, we've been Tom, Tom, and, Tom, Tom and... Tom. Uh, Tom. And uh, oh, Tamia, one of the twins. <laughs> that don't even count. <laughs> nigga. Bad people. Ooh, we with the one Vikings. of the Maoris. We got the Vikings yeah, yeah. coming in. Oh, there was someone else. <laughs> the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> There was someone else too, but divorce. Who got the Vikings? Yo, y'all stay trying Vikings to make niggas care in, about somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Vikings. Yeah, we gotta worry about Dalvin cooking them. Talking <laughs> about what she doing at home. Oh shit! All right, uh, they settled Rust. The uh, the Alec Baldwin, where the lady Helena Hutchinson was I get accidentally murdered. When you keep calling it Rust, like we just yeah. call it the Alec, Alec Baldwin, Baldwin shooting. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. Uh, but her um, husband is going to be an executive producer on the show, on the movie. It's going to resume filming. Um, he's still facing criminal charges, apparently. But uh, they settled themselves. You want, you want my son to go here? Hmm? You want my son to go to school? <laughs> I need a coaching job. That's what it sounds like to me. That's it. I don't know. I don't understand. Said you want my son to go to school? Uh huh. I need a coaching job. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, a little, uh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? A little, a little grease something. my head, grease my head. What y'all call it? Pussola? Y'all so pussy. Pussola? All of y'all. Y'all killed my wife and gave me a job. That's crazy. And y'all went to there and make some Pussola jokes? Fam. What do y'all think? About them killing his wife and then offering him. Well, he took it. He took it, nigga. Took it. Yeah. I know, but what do you think about the offer from from them? I don't know what their offer was, but yeah, whatever sure it was. was a, a hefty it, settlement, and then the yeah. executive producer role is not a job. It's a it's a credit that will earn you a residual income probably for the duration of your life. So, so I mean, so obviously, it doesn't bring, bring your back wife away. back, but it's settlement spanky. Dog, we see worse shit every day. Niggas start dropping charges when they kids getting murdered. I got money. too much humanity in me. That's what it is. That sounds nuts to me. As opposed to what? I haven't allowed my brain to even get to the other side of anything. Yeah, because I'm it... still mourning the loss of my wife who was just filming some shit and y'all shot her with a prop gun. I didn't get to what should happen yet. I didn't get to that. I'm distraught. In your brain, you have something that you think should happen. And there's still criminal charges out there. And and that, the, the and director, you, the director of the movie, also got injured in the thing. Is still directing the movie. And fam, what you think should happen, still might not the fuck happen. This is disgusting. I hate it. I hate it. It's disgusting. It's nasty. I'm not saying that it wasn't the best thing for him to do. Yeah, I'm like, saying I don't know if I would have did that so soon. That's what I'm saying. Even if I came to that decision later, right this second, and I can't speak for his financial situation. Plays a part in most things that yeah. people do. True. Plays a part. But just listening to that, that sounds disgusting. 
Yeah, I would have preferred for them not to even. To you settled before they even finished a criminal investigation. Nah, I would. I would just prefer for them not to uh, disclose the settlement shit with yeah. him getting a job. Or I want the, the the murderer of my wife arrested. That we're gonna start there, and then, and then we could talk about this other shit: compensation, money, settlement. Fuck your TV show. Lock him up. Ooh. Who the nigga that shot my wife. Boy. The nigga that shot and killed my wife. Let's lock him up first. It's not never gonna happen. Well, it will definitely happen if the if not happen if the one person who should be arguing for it to happen is taking the settlement and sign, taking hush money. It definitely won't happen. Then it should be one person to be saying something, and that should be him. Well, there's other people because, like I said, the director was also wounded. I don't know. He could cut a friendly. The director got to take a little leg shot, though. It's your show. You invested differently. <laughs> It's your show. You invested differently. Take what come with it, nigga. You got to roll with the cover up because you with the higher ups down with the cover up. You can't make no noise. That girl was probably a third party hire. She probably didn't have no fucking insurance cover. She ain't protected amongst your fucking higher ups and you killed her. No, I'm not just rushing to take that money. I'm not. That's nasty to me. Anyway. I'm on the other side. What is I know. I know you are. Not even on the other side. I, I, I think that your stance is a little too uh, absolute. I, I also would have to imagine that they have a little bit more information than we do as <laughs> third-party people. My stance is absolute. I want the guy that shot my wife and killed her to go to jail. But if it was truly an accident. Yeah. I'm an actor coming on the scene just like you. Parks, if your wife is in that same situation, there's nothing that can happen after she's gone that would make you 100% believe that that was a true, that that was an accident. I'm yeah, not. but so, no, whoa, whoa, so even and if, if that, you're asking me but that who the, just you, lost my wife, what could you say to me to make me believe all right, so wait, wait, with wait. my whole heart cool. that that was an accident? So, cool. I'm going to try. I show up for work. I go to my trailer. Mm-hmm. I get dressed. I come out my trailer. And Action. And the gun that they just handed me, I use it to shoot at the stunt lady. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You can now see me coming to work, going to my trailer, getting dressed, coming out of my trailer. At no point in time did I ever handle this gun. This is all hypothetical because uh-huh. we don't know what went on behind closed doors. Joe just saying, give me an, a, a situation in which I wouldn't hold this person responsible. Mm-hmm. Yo, I showed up to work. They got me on camera. I went in my dressing room. They got me on camera. I get dressed. I put my outfit on. I come outside. They give me a gun and action, and I shoot the gun. And unbeknownst to me, not a live round is in the gun when I thought it was blanks. Once you get to... Let me finish. All right. Do you still hold that individual You fucking account? right. You fucking right. It's emotion talk. You, it's not. Actually, I don't understand why you think it's emotion. The second you get to, I fired a weapon, and a live round came out, and... Real life results took place. You don't get to now's not the time for unbeknownst to me. Now's not the time to we're not in movie land no more. We're not in TV land anymore. Whether you meant to do that or not, mistake or not, there should be penalty. Legal penalty. For the shooter of the gun. For the murder that took place. There was a murder here. This has to go on someone. That's not Joe being emotional. That wasn't my wife. And I never had a wife. <laughs> I told but you. if I, I had a wife, anymore. I, yeah, I don't. I don't even see how, where you standing on this with that. It's not that situation. What are you? Sta- somebody has to go there. Not the person that put. I just then who? Dog. I just gave a scenario that would totally exonerate a person in the court of law. That didn't exonerate that person to me. How? Because you are the person. I didn't that- load the gun. So. So how, as an actor, I'm a. I'm, I have a 30 year record as an actor. Number one. Right. So I came on set. I used the props that were given to me Mm. as an individual. And the gun I didn't load was Mm -hmm. live. Boy, you will defend a white man. Yo, you sound stupid, my nigga. I'm you, defending you a sound, scenario. Sound, I don't give a fuck if it was Will Smith shooting a gun. Nuts. Yo, dog, but why are you always pushing was, the fucking was, narrative? Because you sound like a nut. What the fuck does this color have to do with me disagreeing with you? Everything. Everything. You sound stupid. Because if it was you, you, you would be dumb. you would be in jail. Since you don't you know what dumb. since you don't know you what color stupid, has to do with it. Yo. If it were you or a black man, you would be the fuck in jail. You sound stupid. So what the fuck do you, you keep sound the, how dumb, you don't yo. see what color got to do with it? Yeah, Tell dog. me. We're talking about a fucking hypothetical I'm not saying that Alec Baldwin should be the only one. 
If you want to talk about who loaded his gun and who brought it to the set, a live round was fired and someone so died. The person this that is loaded the gun one, is responsible. This is one and one plus not the two. nigga Somebody that shot gotta the go gun. Down. What are you talking Somebody about? Somebody gotta go down. You know, where's, I, I agree with that. that. No, I agree with somebody got to go down. And you're not the nigga not in the scenario that I just gave you. Got out of his fucking car, went and got dressed, got to a movie set, and they said action, and he shot a gun that somebody else gave him. Then who? Whoever loaded the gun might be more responsible than the nigga that fired it. Well, why don't the movie rules that you just described for Alec Baldwin, why they don't apply for the person that loaded the gun? I, I said that. I didn't say that somebody shouldn't be held responsible. Somebody I said went that the and put nigga, something in the gun. They didn't know that this was a live round. It's a movie. I went and put it where it was supposed to go. Still, no, no, no. These are trained professionals here. There's somebody on set that's a, that's a, like responsible a, for yeah, all the weaponry or the, whatever the yeah. case may be. That's that their person, job. Yes. The actor nigga And you told me the Give actor, you a scenario I, just, I gave you a scenario Where a nigga shows up For work nothing. I don't know nothing about it They handed yeah. me the guns They handed mm -hmm. me the grenade To throw in the movie I didn't know It was a fucking Live grenade That they gave me To throw in the movie I'm an actor I cannot believe That that's y'all stance On this I don't get why I mean, You it see is it the stance. other way Yeah I, I, don't, I don't even see How you that. see it the other way Cause somebody died And he killed her Alright cool Cause somebody died And he killed her <laughs> All right. I ain't got somebody old. definitely died, so I don't want to even come off as. But wait, wait, wait! Why, but why you, somebody but why should not, not be held responsible? But why you not addressing the second part of what I said, which was, who killed her? <laughs> to me, he it would fired. be the person who loaded the weapon. Whoever's yeah, in charge I'm of agreeing, managing I'm the weapon. With that. Yeah. I'm, he that, fired. That's, he, that's he my stance. Fired the gun, that, that's my stance. Also, yes, he came to work. He fired the gun, but I don't think I don't look at him as a murderer do we know do we do do we know who that person is do we know what's happened with that when person? it happened before they said that it was a, a company that they hired uh -huh. and I think again yo it's a, a death that occurred so we talking and I think the company that the lady might have worked for might have been the company that was responded I mean responsible for handling all the weaponry like it's a company that does that yeah there's a company like that, that, that. that, that hires all I don't the know stuff. if it was the same company that the that woman that hires the some away. people and that's responsible for the weaponry so now et cetera, et cetera. insert what he just said into y'all's argument if that's a company what should happen that company should be that held company, company should be held liable 100% how because now you are insuring but how? Damn, this is Hollywood So niggas got insurance So that particular company I'm sure they have An insurance policy mm -hmm. That They get money See, from And I'm sure there's Licensing that the no, I know. no If no, no, it's no, the no, company no, Who goes to jail The liability now Rests in the company That's what I'm saying Whoever is in charge Of loading or unloading All of that or whatever Is now to be held to jail, responsible no, no, I don't even no. see How you mix live rounds With fake well, rounds Exactly right. There should be no live rounds Anywhere near the set Like That's, Correct. that's my point so the person that loaded that gun that's should point. have been an expert because that's your job. That's your job. You know, prop uh, a blank round. So in what y'all saying, know these things. The, is the company would have to serve somebody up. Whoever's job I don't that even was. think it's serving them. Up. They would have it's, to serve somebody. If somebody has to be somebody had to be the person. There's a I chain of command that. of that of, of, of how that gun got. I agree live with that. And again, and that even, person, even yes. in what you're saying, and somebody being held liable for the death, I still don't look at it as murder. Because somebody could have died and it not be murdered. It could have been manslaughter, second degree, third degree. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's degrees to that. But I don't think that they intentionally set out or had a motive to murder the lady that I know of or that we know of. So somebody definitely should be held responsible. If that was my mother, if that was my wife, if that was my sister, I, I would somebody. definitely be seeking justice. And I would definitely be seeking somebody to be held responsible Alec Baldwin for that. would have to, in, in my story, I know y'all disagree with me, yeah. he would have to get a lesser charge then. Even if what y'all saying is right, he don't just walk away scot free being the person that pulled the trigger in a live round of fight. Less than the charge. To what? Oh, I don't know. I'm not lawmaker. I'm just man. saying. I'm, I'm just trying to. I'm rolling yeah, with y'all yeah, saying. Yeah, like, if I don't, the, I don't if we even serving get... up, if the company is serving up the person that fed the rounds in there, because you're right, maybe a deeper, darker criminal link. Here. I could certainly, uh, I could certainly see a situation in which, which Alec Baldwin would get a reckless endangerment or some type of charge Something, like that. That's not. Like, you don't just not, get to walk home really even, and what chill. What did he do recklessly? <laughs> I you killed someone recklessly. No. I could see a world in which that, that would be I, I, a reasonable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we could While just, I agree, I don't think that he should be charged with murder or manslaughter or any of that shit. I could see where you would get some type of slap on the wrist type of charge. I'm not an actor, so I don't know how it goes. Uh -huh. But I'm sure on all them Rambos movies with uh -huh. seven fucking John Wick, where they shooting at each other and all that other shit, it's a company that is hired to make sure that those are not live rounds. For sure. Right? So they brought I, the guns, they brought all yeah. that shit there. Yo, I'll be coming in here saying to myself, I'm not going to make anything about race today. <laughs> I really do be coming in here saying that to myself. But I cannot listen to Park say 
I would give him a slap on the wrist and not add my brain puts race in that. My brain puts race in that. I don't know a black man that they would let go home to his family and chill while we figure it out. Yes. So let me ask you Call a question. Call me race, Racy Rob. Let me, if that let was me, Will Smith, you think that they would? Never. If it was Denzel Washington, you think Denzel Washington goes to jail or does he I go don't. home to his family, Joe? I, I do. don't think he goes to jail either. I do, and I do. I do and I do. I'm not. Yeah, you think they go to jail? I know what y'all are saying about experienced actors, Never. Yeah. whole family in Hollywood for their whole I can life. See, this is Joe Schmo uh, actor, but this is Alec Baldwin, who's a it's major actor. It's about a, a family of Denzel fucking, Washington is going family to of. So there's a long Denzel, lineage I, of, which is very different bro, from Will Smith see. and Denzel Washington. This is the Baldwin's. This is spanning back mad years Denzel, in Hollywood. Not, Denzel, Denzel is Will not Smith spending is a home. day. They're gonna question you. He about might all not even oh, go to jail. almost he arrested that nigga over the smack. He would be getting the fuck out of here. Damn, he. They almost arrested him over the smack. He, that's yeah. two totally, two totally different, different things. Joe. That's totally different. Oh, I don't different. see it that way. I Are don't view it that all way. Right. One is intent and one is not intent. No one. I committed the nigga, smack. I did this. Fam, you could go and argue intent to you blue in the face. At some point, they're gonna bring up the result. <laughs> I'm not arguing with y'all intent point. I don't think Alec Baldwin meant to kill anybody. <laughs> I'm not arguing with y'all. So if you feel like that, then why do you think he should go to jail for murder? Because he did it. Murder's intent. No. Yes. No. 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 You did it. You did it. To Joe. Intent is part of murder. Exactly. It would be, oh, wait, wait, wait. It would be right. manslaughter murder or would something. Murder the intent. You're right. I said a lesser charge. You did it. I said a lesser charge. But a charge got to come your way for doing it. That's it. We ain't got to run in circles. Yeah, we Manslaughter, the crime of killing a human being without malice or forethought <clears throat> or otherwise in circumstances not amounting to murder. Mm -hmm. That sounds like it, at worst that would be that. At worst. Yeah. At, like manslaughter three. I don't even know. If okay, you know what? Level. Instead of us arguing about this, I close with this. Tell me what y'all think will happen with Alec Baldwin. Nothing. Nothing. I, I don't think he's going to get charged at all. Yeah. Yeah. Not a thing. Yeah, I don't think. I do think it's someone on that. I think set. somebody's gonna get charged. I don't think he will be charged. I don't think he will be charged at all. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> but I don't think he's getting charged. Me, what Corey said. And y'all think that's running the running the course? <laughs> what Corey said. I ain't here. No, he said. What do you think would happen to anybody? <laughs> in that very same position. That's what. That's what I don't get. What I'm do you think it. would happen to anybody? To anybody in that very same, exact same position. You think Denzel exact Washington same. was there? You think he goes to jail? I think they have more support than I think they, have they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. And they don't. And they don't. And they don't. I don't think neither one of them get arrested. I think they get questioned right there. Like, what the fuck? Happened? I don't even think they go to the then, police station. Yeah, and then when they backtrack it, yo, why was there a live round in there? This is a this is a, a Hollywood movie set. Yeah, Somebody that, that's getting counts, in trouble. Yo. Somebody's that getting in trouble. Now, and, do I think the media would vilify them? Absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah. More than they're vilifying Alec Baldwin. Yes, absolutely. I don't agree with that either. I, I agree with that. Media definitely going to vilify him. Will Smith and Denzel. Mm -hmm. We would have found out the name of the company, the the person that loaded the guns. We would have it's too much money behind them, and their track record speaks for itself. Then that company's name, because to be clear, Alec Baldwin ain't no A list actor no more. I don't know. I don't, know if, never really I don't even was. think he's ever was an A list actor. Yeah. Will Smith and Denzel Washington are A plus plus list actors. True. They don't even go to the police station. And they black. They don't go to the police station. And they black. Indeed. Very black. They mm -hmm. don't go to the police station. You telling me that acting supersedes what you are now. All right, I don't no, wanna, I'm telling you that money and fame, keep money and like celebrity do. Into this. Money yeah. and celebrity do. I hope that y'all are wrong about Alec Baldwin. I hope that there's ramification. I do. I hope there's consequence for that. For him? You couldn't do it. How, you couldn't do it. Let me it. ask you a question. How, you couldn't do it. Let me ask you a question. I couldn't do it. He couldn't do Can it. Can I ask you a question? Nobody else could do it. How yes. Does, how does... He need to take his ass somewhere. Alec Baldwin, what could he have done to prevent that from happening? Good question. Not, not, not shoot it? No. Not fire it? Nothing. Nothing. Don't matter. You have to not do the scene. Don't matter. But what does that mean? You, how is that even relevant? How is he... 
how is he guilty of something that he unknowingly Yo, did a, or couldn't have prevented? Because there's a body. There's a body. That's why he's guilty of something. There's a body. We'll see. I'm, we yeah, we, 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 yeah, we can agree or disagree. And at the end of the day, I, I think whatever the family of the victim is and the living victim is cool with, they are, they are the real part. That matters to me. I agree with that. I don't need uh, vindication from Alec Baldwin Excuse if the, the victim's family and the living victims feel as though that they've are been the, justly taken care of. Yeah. That's true. Oh, I do. Don't move the goalposts. <laughs> don't move the goalposts because the family said the family cool with it. Fuck that man. I wouldn't give two shits if the family's cool with it. I want the same thing to happen to him that would happen to anybody else if put in that same exact position. I don't give a fuck what the family say about it. Good for them, though, that they feel that way. So let me ask you a question. Um, and we started this, but they accepted the settlement. They accepted that. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I ain't getting into they, they brand. I can't speak for they, where they at. True. And there you have it, man. The Giants have the Packers this week, and you guys have the Unpackers. Here we are. <laughs> hey, hey, we, hey, at 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> we, 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 we have unpacked all of this shit. We have. We have. Fucking London game. Bitch, I'm sorry for yelling at you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, these YouTube niggas get. No. Oh, I see the tension. Yeah, <laughs> that shit. Fuck, man. Yo, those niggas ran me off the internet. Yeah. I think that's what it really was. Nah, that's it's why. true. I really think that's what it was. That's why I don't me even, too. Like, it shit just is so, uh, bruh. Every, you, you just be on there trying to be on your little chill. You're the man, laughing. though. No, nigga, leave me alone. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. <sighs> yeah, I can't enjoy this shit no more. Nigga, Ice got his beard growing in, boy. It's you nigga, it's about to be winter time. You, you, you really trying out. to be icy pool, yo. Yo, fam. <laughs> yo. <laughs> nah, hell no. No, no. You gonna leave yo, me that might yes. be the top yo. three, yes. top yo, two man. worst yes. pet names in the religion. And not two. <laughs> That's fine. You don't give a fuck, though. I really don't. Yo, the way that y'all say I be with girls, I think that's how Ice be. It is 100% how Ice be. What you mean? What y'all say I be? No, that's how you be too, though, nigga. Don't, you, you be that. how we say you be, or how you we be? see you. Y'all don't see me. I know y'all have known me for like a long, long time. So yeah. sometimes y'all be pulling back, pulling up the old files. <laughs> well, y'all ain't yeah. seen that in a long. But time. But y'all is a bunch of folders. Ice is doing this shit today. <laughs> now, yeah. Ice been doing it. Y'all just ain't see it. it don't, you don't know. We we don't know if you'll do it today. Who? Him. You been in a long-standing relationship. We don't know if you'll do it today. You might. Meet something new, and she have her mail coming in a month. <laughs> no, that was that was oh nine, Joe. That was oh nine, and, and, and a month is long. <laughs> no, was... it take a minute for the mail to start you're coming. Right, you're in. right. You're you know right. what I mean? You file like the second week, and then it take a two week layover for the mail to start coming. A little Capital One bill showing up. <laughs> See, hold up. Don't say anything. Pull up my... Now I got to pull up oh. my clip. I got a clip for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I got a clip for everything. This guy's crazy, B. What, what's this nigga name? I don't think name? I rushed that fast anyway. Six months. I, it was not six months. It's six months now. This is, we six I months know, now. but you, she's been your lock screen for four of them. He's got he's to think about it, so it's not far off. Yeah, yeah. it's close. <laughs> Somewhere in there. So far hey, yo, dog, two months, I'm still... I still like... Shh, I, I like looking at Yo, her. two months, I'm still ishing. <laughs> yeah, know. I mean... Nah. Six, eight months, I'm still in my ish. Still outside. Yeah. yeah. Looking for that Stephen A clip of him on The Breakfast Club. Oh, that's Telling the you that. You got to watch... You gotta, the, other one. the other one. You got to watch these funny. women. You got to watch these women. He's a valuable man. He's doing well, making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And now he would never put himself in a position. In the, yeah. Yep. He told some stories about. Oh, you rich now, so you wouldn't move him in ASAP. That's what you're trying to get at. He can't. Ain't, I don't even think it's that far. You just got to watch the conversation with them. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> it's not that. But it's not that. <laughs> look, 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 look. I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> Uh-uh, it, it ain't that. <laughs> no, it ain't that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another great pod. That was awesome. I tore my little Ooh. amp set up the other night on my rap shit. I did. Uh-oh. Gangsta, gangsta. 
Yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Murder. Fuck is y'all niggas talking about? Uh, until the next time, we bid you adieu, farewell, adios, arrivederci, au revoir, so long, goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. Hey. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Shout out to Queens, Ty Murder, the whole Murder, Inc. It's my shit when it was out. Lastly, the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. It go. All right, touch the sky, hold on, wait. We'll be back same time, same place next week. Oh, also next Friday. No, we won't be here next Friday. That means Saturday. Oh, yeah, let me tell y'all. Yo, uh, take off Friday. Nice to know. Take off next Friday. Uh, yeah, Friday, we out of here, man. Go find something else to do with your time on Saturday. Say less. I love the... Yeah, it's smoke, yo, you got to open the pot with that. While I was doing the puff thing I at the front it. with I know. Kanye, the whole pod was about. <laughs> no, I know. But I had this queued but up. Shit. I didn't want to go from victory to this. It wasn't relevant. I figured I just ended with. Nah, that 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 record got to be a yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's true. Shit. Any final words? Draymond, keep your hands to yourself, man. Or not? I know, but Alex Ball went shoot away. <laughs> yo, no, you, yo, you couldn't help it. You couldn't you walk right into it. Walk right into it. He couldn't help it though. Yeah. Uh, the one. New Joe Biden.